Ah, I should have Tenshi. Time to uh, go on and explore Chenyu Vale, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Was the plan. Get some more treasure. I did all the quests, but I could probably find that local legend. Hmm. Should probably condense some resin. Or I can farm more talent books for Zhao and for Chiori. I mean, not Chiori, I mean Zhao and Farazan for Sunday's Abyss Run. Oh, okay. Hmm. Over here and. Oh, a Beto, right? It is a Beto's birthday. We saw shipping routes from our time flowers. How do they even bring all the ships up to the wharf? Armored crabs, one crab, one punch, bare hands. Beto all. Hmm. Pretty starfish limit well. Some chow. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, right, I do usually cover that up, but yeah, whatever. I mean, these expedition rewards. Hmm. Okay. Dispatch again, and. See, how much resin do I have condensed right now? Okay. Not that much, actually. Okay. Just kind of chill out then. Cool. Go over and craft a few more of these. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Let's check, see... Okay, there are plants awaiting harvest, so I should grab those probably before they cause issues. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Alright. What can I put in here? Oh, right. Did get a few more rainbow roses. Wandering around Fontaine. Mm. Oh goodness. Gotta get a little closer then. No seeds available. It's literally so sad. Mm. A few more Marcadius. Mm. Okay. Be a while until they close back in on the earlier seeds. Alright. Mm. Hmm. Okay. In that case. Wipe out those commissions real quick. See how many rolls we have saved up for Chiori right now. Makes you wonder. It makes you wonder. That's nice and sandstormy. Right now I have I think. 64, then 8, so 45, 53, 63. 63 already. And it is important to note that I have a good number basically waiting for me, around 20 or so rolls waiting in the teapot, essentially. It's when I go and get the character furniture set prompts. Get. 40 or so primos every time, and I have a lot of those saved up because I've never done any of them. Over the last few patches, I went and made every character's, made every favorite furnishing set and put them down. So one of these days, I'll be able to go in and just collect them all at once. We'll see. Do a whole teapot tour stream. See how that works out. Because it's going to be five separate teapots, one for each nation. Putting in all the characters who I currently have and collecting their teapot reward. So, yeah. Get 20 or so rolls out of that, so... Well, I'll have enough to guarantee Chiyoji by then, I'm pretty sure, but... I don't know, just in case, or whoever comes up in the patch after that. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Just... Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay. Okay. Suck. Go and back over here, fight some treasure hoarders. Good stuff, good stuff. Hmm. Got the dragon spun over there. One of the Liwe Mountains, I believe that's Hulao over there. I'm not entirely sure. But past this side of the mountain, you've got Lyshen over on the other side. It is cool how they're filling out more and more of the geography. There has been some speculation over whether we'll get Baida Harbor over here in this series of patches, or whether that will have to wait a bit longer. We'll see. Mm -hmm. All right. Said I think. Let's just use that fan to get ourselves over a little faster. Okay, cool. Here we go. That said. Going up higher it didn't really make a difference one way or the other. Been a while since I saw that Terror Shroom portal. It is fun how they have that out there in case people don't want to go through that cave. Even though it's not as if there's really much in the cave in the first place. Well, either way, either way. Come on, come on. Okay, just go over there. And we can just down over there that way. Hello. Hello. And that said, physical plunges might actually be a bit better due to the way that treasure hoarders, as all human enemies do, have a bit of a physical weakness. Oh goodness, I did not mean to do that. Wrong button. And the only thing left should be ah, doctor's orders. So I've gotten two of the three variants of that so far, but you get the achievement after doing the extra objective on just one of them. Nothing special for doing all three, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Okay. In that case, go over to the Marstone. It's too high to get up there. Okay. Hello. Come on, come on. Give it to me and help her off top at the farmhouse. Okay, just give her more steak. All right. Hmm. Is there a cook pot anywhere around here? It's not seem like it. It's a shame because I'm gonna need to make one delicious steak for him. I should just make a batch. I guess I get this commission again. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Can I light diet? Some neat ginger organs blessings better. Well, I'm dieting. So I need to go back. Have some steaks. Hmm. All right. And let's just make five. Might get an amber steak. And yep, we did. Alright. 50 and percent 150. Alright. Been a while since I actually needed to revive with food. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, wait, there was one just over here. I am stupid. Could have at least used elemental sight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go, what happened? Not the full ban. Didn't make angry even the researchers. Okay. Come on. And over there. Hello. Stake or two. Put it like that. Should be fine. Okay. Got that in. Alright. Could do another single roll with a blue fate. <laughs> Also, I think, got enough to fully level up Farzan now. Let's see. There we go. Here we go. Max. Cool. In that case, max level. Does she have pristine elegance popular become uncommon on faltering purity? 
does have Animo Glider. That's good. Let's see. Yep, and we're most of the way to being able to take her to maximum. So let's just feed some in right now. Give that for Zhao too. A little bit stronger, especially if I'm going to be using this team. It's the local legends. All right, all right. 8, 11, 11, and for Zhao, should be able to, and interestingly enough, it hasn't actually changed your position in the menu now. Okay, now it should have, yep, now that resets it, because she was in between all the four stars, and these four stars, and Eula, who's still at level 70, because I just haven't had any real pressing reason to actually level her all the way. There's so many other characters who are tragically much more useful. The slime material, stronger there, and all of these will increase its damage a decent deal. Okay, yep, the basic punch multiplier, and then a bit more bonus too. There we go, there we go. All at 8 now. Go on and... Cash in our commissions, and then go back to Chen Yu Vale. Round out Gaijin again, because I do think that the new local legend is there. Okay. How much do I have on standard again? Let me check. I got... I got... 15 on normal? Is it 15 or is it 18? I think it's 18 actually. So this will take me to 19. Pretty sure I forgot to update it. And yeah, nothing. Okay. Actually, let me see. I can just check it out right now. About one hour, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so it was actually 15 after, so that's taken me to 16. Okay, cool. Kind of funny that got a Bennett out of that, of all things, but yeah, whatever. In that case, we will go back now, and I think go back to Mount Glacian. Yeah. But this area, hopefully get that piece of jade to clear up that chamber in. Chijon Wall. Yeah. That is what the place is called. Okay. Hmm. Let's just switch some proper characters in. This is good enough for now. I can just remember to put Xingqiao in whenever some of the Xianzhou beasts show up. That is really what I need him for. Him in his fancy new outfit. Given that, I do want to freeze them in order to render them more manageable via shadow reaction. Okay. Come on, come on. And let's see. Oh, uh, well, I miss. I need to lead that shot more. Not that any of this is particularly important, but still. Hmm. Actually, check around this little area too for anything else hmm so already did this puzzle with the monuments to the extent it can even really be called a puzzle and I suppose the enemies from before have not decided to come back as a result okay well and where to next guess that part's gone yep that piece of lost right is not going to respawn. So it seems. So it seems. May as well teleport back and instead of taking the long way. Okay. Okay. In that case. It's got more of this. Bit of mint. And oh, okay, that. Goodness, do I wanna? Sure. Sorry, squirrel. <laughs> I wanted another piece of raw meat. Let's go over and 
beat this guy up. All right, all right. Hello, hello. Come on, come on, come on. Swirl, swirl, and... Okay, nice. Plunge, and... Goodness. Oh, that already did most of it. Oh my goodness. Not expecting the Shen Ganyu combination to be as capable as it was. But I guess it would make sense that they can batter each other pretty well. Miwin Bow Plunge. Better than Tartaglia. Okay. Hmm. Yep. Being able to see Fontaine from below like that is pretty cool, honestly. Hmm. That over there. Still have to check that out. Let me see. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, a bit more of this. A bit of jade over here, and more goats. Hmm. Come on, come on. And... I wouldn't say cannibalism isn't the right term, but I guess it does maybe seem a little perverse to me how having gone, you can beat up on some of her arguable brethren. Okay, cool. Come on, come on. Over here, and... Come on, just like this. Just like this. And... Plunge, and... Come on. Okay, and... Did we manage to... What did we manage to do here? Well, we trapped you like that. That's good. And plunge down, and we got those beasts in. Cool. This will switch... Yawn you back in until you have to deal with some of those things. So being able to completely immobilize them does help. Mm -hmm. Me when I completely trivialize the fight by way of making use of the intended mechanics. It's not cheating. It's not cheating. Okay. All those birds over there. But there are no eggs in that nest. Interesting. Hmm. Let's make our way down and have technically gone around here before, but I don't know. I feel like clearing off the mountain if I'm on the mountain. Just in case. Just in case. Never really know what's going to be over here and how much. Let's just... Here we go. Hop right over the mountain. Nothing in here. Okay. There were things in those little nooks on Seirai long, long ago. That is what this train kind of reminds me of. Seirai Island. Which, honestly, is probably still my favorite location in the game, period. It really just it's so much style. There's really nothing like it. Okay. More Hydro Mimics. Don't drop anything, not even more. Hmm. Hmm. Wind over there. Hmm. That's sort of an upside down rainbow. Do have to wonder what that specifically is. Hmm. All right. Weird sort of glinting light. Top of all that. Surrounding that portal to Carp's Rest. You see, yep. You can see side Carp's Rest that way too. Hmm. Alright. Yep, and the best way to use Mod Retainer's East Skill to Climb is to go up to the cliff face and press E without actually pressing forward, because if you press forward, you will just climb. Okay. Oh, goodness. And, oh, I led my shot too much that time. Isn't moving as quickly as I kind of expected. Really is interesting how it has a health bar but still disappears like other wildlife. 
Well, I suppose it makes sense, given that you weren't exactly supposed to hunt them. They are largely passive. The loose control that you have over Sky Ladder is honestly part of what ma makes it fun. It's not quite as maneuverable as yeah. Wanderer's State when favored. Yeah. But I wouldn't even call it a skill yeah. ceiling or skill floor, it just feels floaty. Feels floaty. Almost almost a dreamlike in nature. Hi. Oh come on. And there we go. So since it was already trying to disappear, it didn't have a death animation, it just vanished and left immediately. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. So I'll go down there and get another sweet flower. I bet it really matters one way or the other. Okay. I do wonder if putting in Furina just to walk on water could be somewhat useful. Yeah. And that would allow me to get up top that way. But eh, eh. I don't really need the raffle simulacre for this. Yeah, we got a lot of empty water. And frankly, there are people who expect a lot of that empty water to get filled up. Something. But I think, personally, it's just gonna end up like Inazuma, where there is a lot of truly just empty water in between Liwei and Inazuma. Given that, these people said, oh, they can put anything there, but Chenyu Vale, well, I guess it depends on whether that area gets filled in this patch cycle or the next. But with Inazuma, I mean... With Chenyu Vale, there were already mountains in this area before it actually had real terrain. Which changes the equation a bit to me. So it's one thing to fill in placeholder mountains with real terrain. Another thing to fill in placeholder water with real terrain. Anything can happen. I don't call the shots, but just my hunch. Especially since there is a good amount of water. I mean, a good amount of land for them to put something like Bada Harbor in already. They don't have to expand the entire way just to add the new area. Oh, goodness. Just, there is the, you're over there, you're over there. Oh, my goodness, oh my goodness. There we go, there we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. It's over on this side. Well, a bit of that part of... No. It's down that waterfall ends. Machiyama is over there. You can see with the funny trees. Hmm. Oh, where are you gonna go? Gonna fall all the way down, or...? Weird. Guess they can just actually go on mountains. A real mountain goat. Goodness. Well, let's watch that meat fall down. Okay. Dirty steaks. Hmm. Those will keep going. Yeah. Cool. This thing is that. If you're on ground, you can entirely turn around in order to uh, go back the other way with Sky Ladder if you feel like it. Hmm. But. But. Where to next? I guess I'll go back over here so it's on top of this part of the mountain. Maybe. It said I'm pretty sure it's stuff I've seen before. But, I really do feel like exploring more of Lijin is probably going to be my best bet for that other piece of jade to open up. Storm. We'll see. 
Oh, the lizard disappeared. Okay. You do that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hmm. Whole mountain over there, but... Okay. I can see those orbs up in the sky. Golden carp. Hmm. And then... This way. Hi. Hello. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Then... If all this is stuff we've seen before, there was a little challenge that we did, but... Already done. Okay. What about the stuff down here? What about the stuff down here? Well... Did already get that. Oh, there's a Chings in here. Hello. Stuff over this way, but this part and this part are mostly, if not entirely, unexplored. That one last piece of jade. Well, because there are two, I assume. Got the piece on the right? Hmm. Okay. I've gone through a third of this little place. Hmm. 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 I already did a time of day puzzle over there. Well, hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to. Handle this piece by piece. Maybe I'll go around the edge over here and then try to move up a level. Not entirely sure. It's because of the way that the cart portals. Sort of obfuscate connections between layers of the mountain. Hmm. Alright. Either way, I'll go back here. I do wonder where and how those local legends will show up. Maybe they take the place of these. Because I know that there are two Geo Bishops who revive after you kill one if you don't kill the other fast enough. But. Maybe if I saw. Well, Sandal Acre puzzles on here. One of those those two Sandal Acre will get replaced by the local legends. I really don't know. To do that puzzle. Pretty sure it was particle collecting. Not like I really know now. Big chunk of it's blue jade. They're suspiciously similar in color to Celestial nails. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. Hmm. Well, alright. Oh! Hajime Mashtenshi, Count Golem. How are you doing? I'm just going around in Chen Yu Vale making a vain attempt to figure out how I can get those funny Geo Bishops to show up. Because I'm pretty sure that they. The local legends are somewhere around here? I don't know. Well, either way, I will find them eventually. Having a lovely Wednesday? Uh, either way, I'm just doing a little bit of exploration. And this enemy camp did not show back up. Still gazing at the sun over here. It is interesting how... A lot of the enemies on Mount Lyjan over here don't respawn after you deal with them. At least once connected to certain puzzles. And I guess that's true of a lot of places. But given how small and compact the area is, it feels a lot more relevant here. Hmm. Okay. 
Well, in that case, maybe I'll just spill out down here and perambulate that part of the mountain. I could just have gone over that way and hop down the mountain from there, but if I do it like this, I can just go in a little clockwise three-quarter circle and not have to circle back or change direction. All right. Either way. My eternal, but not vain. Well, it is vain. It's just not in vain. Search for treasure is going to continue. It's just going to send me. Wait. Oh, to the top of that. So is that just set up for the other puzzle to get to the top over there with that geoparticle puzzle? I guess it is. Well, you know, I was here already. That does not actually help me all that much. Guess we can just continue back over here and not get sent back all the way. Shame. Hmm. Well, in that case, really is nothing to do but continue onwards. Crying shame, really. All right, all right. Hey, how are you doing? Always happy to have someone new show up in chat. I'm doing great. What about you? Big Genshin person? I am. I am trying to, fair enough, trying to complete this during the patch it came out. Because when I more or less first started, around last spring, I had a lot of Samaria to catch up on, and I ended up rushing a lot of Samaria exploration that summer, right before Fontaine came out, so I wouldn't have had to have anything remaining in the prior nation when the current one came out. Are you excited for presumably Mount Asus in 4.6? We got east. I guess we'll get west or central. But. You excited for Chiori too, or any thoughts on current content? I know a lot of people think that it is kind of a dead patch, or we're getting close to dead patches, though. After the first few Archon quests, it always is a bit of a slack period, for better or worse, but to be frank, a lot of that is to let people who aren't as hardcore at the game catch up to a certain extent. Okay. Other way, we can keep on going. Hmm. We ran a little bit. Really do wonder when those Geo Bishops are going to show up. Well, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And all I can do is react to the current situation at hand. Guess. Yep. Do that to climb up a little to get a little height boost. Not all that crazy, but hey, yeah. Make of it what you can. Hmm. In that case. I wonder if there's anything over here now that there's this barrel over this way. It does not seem like it. That said, this last patch of rocks and crystals should get me to. Daily mining objectives, so not complaining too much. Did I get it already, or wait? Let me see. I did get it already. I am losing my mind. You know, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. In that case, we will grab this minto, fly back over, and yeah, good stuff. Hmm. Oh, hi! Go down and plunge that boar into oblivion. There was another piece over here. And I missed it because my plunge was a little bit too high. Crying shame. Hmm. Over here. Mushroom, mushroom. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This way, and a bit more mint, but... Okay, so if the Geo Bishops are going to be on this mountain, they're probably going to be somewhere over here, maybe. That said, if 
they aren't connected to this. Sagalacra showing up somehow. It's just there are a lot of moving parts. I'm not exactly sure what is going to trigger what. Because there is still that Jade Fragment, and I need the left Jade Fragment. And when I went over to Qi Wall, assuming that Jade Fragment, sort of that, oh, that jade, jade Bead, and so the Ruin Chamber over there. I'd assume, since talking to that Bead mentioned that its energy was similar to the energy of Mount Lyshin, that something I do on this mountain is going to get me that other piece of jade. Cannot be entirely sure, but that is my current presumption. Okay, let's just go down, wait for my stamina recharge, and grab these books. This is the upper veil. Wait, upper, oh, right, because, right, because upper veil was basically a What's a straight line through here? Southern Mountain. When it says Southern Mountain, it really just does mean this this specific mountain. Okay, now I see. That's funny. And then there's also... There's one way on two. I suppose, given that... Chinese and Japanese do not necessarily specify singular or plural. Or at least don't have to. Could easily mean southern mountains. Just as easily. Oh, goodness. Get as many of you over here as possible. Come on, get over here. Okay, there we go. And how many can we... How many can we swirl? Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Get all of these over here. And... Oh, please. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. What? What? Okay. Don't like that. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Actually, Yanni can handle the rest of this. Oh, what? What? Oh, what? What on God's green earth was that garbage? Oh, it was just I couldn't see the fire pillars because... I couldn't see the fire pillars because I was in aim mode. I want to die. Well, okay. That didn't happen. Hmm. In that case, I guess I'll fly back over to where I was before and try to redeem myself. Come on, come on. Challenge failed. I am well aware of that. Okay. Punch back down and... Okay, nothing to stop me. It was literally just free common chest. Alright. Hmm. But. But. Not gonna fight these Shionjo beasts right now. But I should. Try to get a bit of energy back. So I can probably try to bait them over and spam a bit of plunge like I originally tried to do with Animo Swirls in order to get their elements to interact with each other. Goodbye, Shionjo Beast. I do find it interesting that they're called Shionjo Beast instead of Adepti Beast or something, given that Shion in every other area of the game, which basically means... It's hard to translate, but it's a Chinese word that means essentially Taoist immortal. They translate that into Adepti, a made-up Latin-sounding term everywhere else in the game. And I do find that interesting, because I've talked about this before, but originally Mahoyo was a lot more interested in sort of hiding the fact that this game was Chinese. To the point that Hmm. You know, they tried to hide a lot of Chinese cultural aspects, and one of those things, as far as I could tell, was, you know, obscuring a bit of Weiwei being a Chinese-inspired location. 
That said, maybe do it like this was not such a good idea because trying to get down the pyro shield with cryo like this is going to be bad. Yeah, I slightly messed that up. Just slightly. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Maybe I had Shincho on the party, but even still, yeah, this is going to be nasty. Okay. Hmm. So getting the Pyro and Electro Abyss Mages to group up is going to be priority number one. Oh my goodness. Why are you over here? Why are you over here? I could always just put Shincho on the party, I suppose, but that, that is probably what I should do. Okay. Oh, but now they're actually almost all together in a very convenient location. There we go, there we go. Good stuff. What? What? Oh, you're kidding me. How the... Oh, go to hell. Yeah, I can't bother with this garbage. I'm just gonna put Shinja on the party. No, oh, seriously. What the hell? Okay. Well, I did not intend to do that. That was a... Incorrect button press. It said... There is a part of me that feels like... Let's try that one more time. Just because the swirls are satisfying. If I hadn't... If I hadn't... Gotten trapped in a bubble during that plunge, which... I'm surprised was even a thing they could actually do, given that... During a plunge attack... The entire character is a hitbox. As in, deals damage to anything it touches. So I would have expected that... It would have probably damaged me. Expected to damage me when it popped, but I didn't expect it to totally just... Negate my plunge and say, haha, now you die. That was... Kind of unpleasant. Kind of. Hmm... In that case, I'm gonna try this one more time. One more time. And if I die again, or fail again, just putting Xing Chao in the party and doing it that way. But, and to be fair, there were five characters who I could arguably use here and it would make sense. Because Xing Chao, he got a new outfit, and also, he's Gu Hua, and this area over here is literally. The old Guha headquarters, so I did use them there, but... Shan Yun and Ganning are new, and Shen Hen Gan, you both got new outfits. So to me, they're all... I suppose, patch-relevant characters. Okay. Get over here. Get over here. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Get over here. And where are... Oh my goodness. What are you doing? What are you doing? Not the electro charge. Come on. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh my goodness. That really sucked. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now they're all here. Now they're all here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And one. There we go. We got him. We got him. And how many more? How many more? Let me see. Oh my goodness. Let's just kill you before we do anything else. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Oh, we can do this. There we go, okay. Animo Plunge Swirl Redemption Arc. There we go, okay. Let's go and get that box floating in the water before I forget it exists. Oh, interesting, did he... He jumped up when he hit the water? Or did he sort of back up and somewhat hit the ledge over there? I'm not even sure what just happened entirely. Let me see this. What is this? So it's sort of a particle puzzle that happens on its own? That is interesting. Okay, well, Gani's over there and... Oh, that's really cool. You do it like that to create an updraft. That that was really creative, actually. Oh, well, that didn't work. So we need to 
Let's put it here, or get it as close as possible to the start of this, and that, that was a little scuffed, but if it works, it works. It is, I do like that they made a minigame in this year's Lantern Rite that is just using those Golden Carp Sleep Pearls to do obstacle courses, especially since they made it a sort of elaboration on last year's Aerial Obstacle Course event and last year's Lantern Rite. Because normally that would feel a little lazy, but they explicitly acknowledged the, si acknowledged the similarity and gave it a lore justification, which, in the end, I'm a sucker for anything lore-related, for continuity in the plot. Just because internal consistency and in making the world feel like a world is one of the things that the devs really do care about, and it shows. Because back when I was younger, I was a huge Zelda fan, and I still like Zelda. I enjoyed Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, but, and I'm gonna say this, and it's gonna sound kind of crazy, I feel like the Genshin devs learned more and better lessons from the success of Breath of the Wild than Nintendo themselves did. In the sense that, as much as they could do with a live service model, where characters had varying kits, and Inazuma and Sumeru, Sumeru especially, with quests like Aranyaka and Golden Slumber and to a lesser extent, Dirge of Vilkas, they tried to incorporate a bit of a Zelda dungeon crawling and dungeon item model into an open world. And the biggest thing is just that and a lot of it is just that Zelda games take so long to make that there's always a lot of always a lot of dev team churn. But okay, did that kill that goat? No, that did not kill that goat. But there isn't a lot of thematic or plot consistency in between games to the point that a lot of people strip deny that a Zelda timeline even existed, because. Okay. And this discussion is going to get a little silly. But essentially, back in something like 2010, which is basically a billion years ago at this point, to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the Legend of Zelda series. No, 25th. 25th. So it was 2011. 2011, yeah. A book was put out called Hyrule Historia, which had the putative official timeline of the Zelda series, and there were a lot of people post-hoc afterwards, well, a lot of people who got introduced to the series by Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, and that's the big thing, is that most people who consider themselves, consider themselves big hardcore Zelda fans these days are people who got introduced by Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, and... If they've played any older Zelda games at all, because a lot of them straight up haven't, in part because the older Zelda games are so much different from Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, their idea of Zelda is closer to Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, and they'll make a lot of disingenuous arguments that it's closer to the spirit of the first and second Zelda games. Spoiler, it's not. As someone who's actually played the first couple of original Zelda games, but they openly say that, oh, the timeline was made up to satisfy toxic fans who wanted a timeline where none needed to exist, but from the release of the second Zelda game, okay, so what I need to do, can't trigger it from this range, so I need to... Send it back and call it back and then run behind the other kettle before it shows up. There we go. Nice. Okay. As soon as you get a sequel to the first Zelda, a timeline exists. Zelda 1 and then Zelda 2. And no one ever argued that every single game was planned out in advance on a timeline. Just that every game that was released had an explicit chronological relationship to one, at least one of the previous games in the series, 
that the developers mentioned in interviews prior to the release of the games and explicitly made clear. It wasn't something just made up long after the fact. And there were a few things that required some retconning because of inconsistencies, but that doesn't change the fact that every game, when it was released, it was released with an idea of where it fit in with the others by the devs. And... Hmm, part of the reason I care, not care a lot about that is because caring about your world building and caring about your themes allows you to make a more coherent work that actually says something. The most interesting and thought-provoking Zelda games, in my opinion, are Twilight Princess and The Wind Waker. Essentially, the end of Ocarina of Time, which was the first 3D Zelda game and the most famous one, a time paradox is created where the prin Princess Zelda sends the main character Link back in time because in order to defeat the big bad guy Ganon, he had to basically time skip seven years forward and therefore miss out on his childhood. And well-intentioned as it was, she basically says, okay, you deserve a childhood. And that creates a time paradox where there's, there's this one timeline where Ganon was defeated, but there's no Link because he got sent back. And one where Link gets sent back with all his memories and they're therefore able to use that knowledge of the future to prevent the events of the first game from actually happening in the first place. So, it's interesting time paradox stuff going on, but the important thing is that that's established from the start. It's established from the start that there's a timeline that includes a bit of splitting, so to speak. And that's one of the things that people incorrectly, in my opinion, objected to. The idea that there was a split in the continuity of events based on a time paradox created, when that's established at the end of one of the first games in the series. But the reason that's important is because... And it might seem relatively unimportant, oh, funny lore tidbit about a time paradox, but the extent to which the later games acknowledged it and cared about it signified those games more general attention to detail and care about their own setting. Because... The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess and The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, also Majora's Mask, but it was close enough and was literally in an alternate world that didn't have any events that bear it on the larger setting. <clears throat> Twilight Princess and The Wind Waker, their entire plot conceits depend on the timeline existing. Oh, a sword. Because the idea of the Wind Waker is in the timeline where Link got sent back from, there's no Link. So Ganon came back and there was no way to stop him. Or more generally, they expected Link to come back, but he couldn't. So Ganon didn't get stopped. And the world was flooded in order to stop Ganon. In Twilight Princess, Ganon basically gets minority reported and gets accused of crimes he hasn't yet committed and executed. And that's the impetus of that game. But... More generally, those two games have the most interesting, morally gray and nuanced Ganondorfs and settings in general of the Zelda games, I would say. Because in Wind Waker, although it's incomplete and he's still a bad guy, Ganondorf never lies. He tells the main characters that the gods of their setting basically abandoned them and said, instead of say actually working to save you, we're just going to drown everyone and hope it kills the bad guy too. Kill them all and let God sort them out. And that maybe your gods aren't so good after all. And also... He explicitly does not take the many opportunities he has to kill Link in that game, who is a weak kid without any ability to fight him. 
basically goes and tells him, this is what you need to do to beat me. And a lot of it is just narrative conceits. If Ganon just killed Link when he got the opportunity, it wouldn't be a very interesting or very long game. And there's someone who needs to lure Tom. But it does feel significant that Ganondorf is portrayed as a leader of his people who envied on a personal and societal level the power and prosperity of the Man Kingdom Hyrule. And in Twilight Princess, it's heavily implied that either in vengeance as reprisal or just to be sure or maybe to get to Ganondorf, it's pretty much implied that they killed the entirety of Ganondorf, that Hyrule killed off the entirety of Ganondorf's tribe. That they committed genocide in order to stop Ganondorf, which is kind of crazy. And arguably explains some of why Ganondorf is basically an impersonal ball of flaming rage for a lot of the game. And to be fair, it's probably not something the developers meant one way or another, but it's interesting. And those were the games that cared the most about their world building and setting as evidenced by the fact that they cared about the time paradox set up in the previous games. But whether you're listening right not or not, I just I just wanted to rant a little. Hounds are staying green by Pervertant Flow, wilds consume the woodsman's home, mist and rage shroud the fishing boat. Hmm. Nature overpowered humanity. Hmm. Okay. I do wonder, as I think, those are Guhua's poems, because there's one over here too. There's one around one of these areas, one that gave a luxurious chest. I wonder if we'll get an achievement for finding all of them. But, Guhua left a stone sword over here by the Guhua Hall. Hmm. So I wonder if those were actual weapons you used, or just monuments, more or less. Okay. One geoparticles within 40 seconds. Come on, come on. Oh, so we use these to... Well, I can't see anything, really. This should be a somewhat safe bet. Okay, there we go. That was good. And we got it. Nice. Oh, there were a couple of... Oh, messenger. Messenger. A couple of violet grasses over here. Violent grass? Why is the grass so violent? Hmm. Let me... See. Okay. Gotten most of this. This one area over there. I think that's where the... Carpally portal warp gate like one that sends you on a predetermined path sent me i'll have to keep looking but i went up here and you just just oh well the mountain's already at 100 percent all right i do wonder maybe if the way i'm going to get hmm The way I'm going to get that other piece of jade is going to be... Let me see. Maybe getting all the spirit cart. That is possible. It said it's also a bit drastic. The main thing is just... When will those Geo Bishops show up? As I could see them showing up... Let me actually look. Compare the map areas. Okay, so yeah. Vote of Range Aid is basically right below that little area over there, more or less. So I could see them showing up only after I've maxed out the carp offering. Honestly, a little bit crazy, but given that a number of the other local legends only showed up after certain world quests, like Mage Boyd Carouge in here and Hot Claire only showing up, after the Wild Fairy of Arrhenius quest, and... Well, Chalcedonion is always down there, but it shows up at the bottom of the tower once the tower sinks. And also, Dan Nera shows up around here when you do the Knacker quest. Hmm. Well, 
It's okay. I'll figure it out one way or another eventually. Put on this way and let me see, let me see. Over here. Grab that and okay. There are a few more violet grasses. I can nab. If they make another character actually use violet grass as an ascension material, I may cry. They are so annoying to get, and I had to farm them for Baiju, Chi Chi, and Jin Yan. I leveled all of them. And the only one that was ever useful was, of course, Baiju. But to be fair, Baiju was very useful, I will say. So use him decently often, given that he is... I think a lot of it is just... He doesn't have off-field full party healing, because... Xion Yun slash Cloud Retainer is the first character, period, to have off-field full party healing. But the characters that Baiju works well with, generally speaking, aside from Sino, you can pretty freely switch them on and off-field during the rotation. Such as Nuvia, especially since you do kind of need to switch them out using Sacrificial Jade, because if you do three of the special charges in a row without switching them out, you'll lose the Sacrificial Jade buff. And I suppose that isn't important or relevant if you're not using Sacrificial Jade, or instead using <clears throat> Then Where is Mount... Other Mountain... It's over there. I just couldn't see it all the well through, all that well through the fog. Back when I fought Eliphas up here, since it was all rainy, I could actually see the entirety of Tibet without the fog, which was really, really cool. Well, Switching out Nuviat for Baiju to use another E when it comes off cooldown, because Baiju's E also has a pretty short cooldown. That also is a convenient thing about him. As long as you get more healing up for something like a Furina buff. And also is just a way to get Nuviat off field. So that the Sacrificial Jade buff does not disappear. And switching to Baiju is really good, because since there's a switching cooldown, you need to do something, in, if you can do something somewhat useful in that time, instead of just sitting around twiddling your thumbs, it's good. So you have enough time, and during that window, you can just cast a Baiju E instead of sitting, sitting around and twiddling your thumbs, and that is double useful. But... I used Shinyan on a Lark during the Golden Apple Archipelago event where she was relevant. That had her character lore along with Kaza, Moan, and Fischl. But aside from that, I haven't used her since. She has one of the most unfortunate kits in the game. But. And Chi Chi, I leveled, but haven't really gotten any use out of, so. Yeah. Waste of violet grass, I guess, but what can you do? What can you do? Alright. So back over, activate that, and send me up top, or will it... Okay, so I can either go over manually by grappling, or I can just let the cart do the work for me. Alright, alright. But in that case, I really am wondering what is up with that remaining piece of jade. Where and how am I going to get it? Hmm. Okay. Well, that's alright. I suppose. Oh, so I'm stuck in this state until I get all the way up to the top. Well, that... That's okay. That's it, okay. Hmm. Whoever... Around this entirely superfluous piece of meat. Piece of meat. 
Okay. So there and grab this. Okay. Something really shows up there, but thought it might do something since it was a an outlined pedestal, somewhat similar to the one in one down west of here, where I had to wait for a certain time of day with sunset. But it does not appear like it is anything of note. Oh, and okay, so I did do this already. Okay. In that case, I'm pretty sure that everything, everything here is kind of said and done now. In that case, I can go look elsewhere for that piece of jade and hopefully find it eventually. Actually, try to get up. I'm just gonna smack against the top there. Wait, so... Ah, so I can go on the underside of this, actually. There's nothing here, but I can do it. Aww. Hmm. Guess I should have expected that that cloud layer would be like that. Okay. The only thing really left that I haven't exactly seen yet is... These little spots down here. Well... I cannot imagine they will be much, but the name of thoroughness and completion may as well check. Let's just... oh goodness. And... oh, okay. thought we might not have made that. Okay, yep, and there was a geoparticle obstacle deal that we did sometime long, long ago. Let's just... Check this part of the mountain. Uh, fountain, fountain, mountain, mountain. Well, actually, there was Hoot Mountain over there. Montagna, or it is just mountain, right? I don't speak French. Hmm. Frankly. I have some I have some grudges against the French, but it's neither here nor there. Do have a nice nice train system, I will say. And uh, it's actually really, really funny. Cause that mm. I predicted the Aquabus system. Once long, long ago. Because, to a certain extent, generally speaking, the sort of mid patch area predicts some aspects of the coming region, like Golden Apple or Valoria Mirage, because famously, or infamously maybe, first Golden Apple introduced Wave Riders. The boats you use mostly in Inazuma. And then Valoria Mirage had the Choo Choo Cart system very prominently. And in France, once, and this was last summer, I realized that as I was riding the train, that maybe there would be a system based on all that. I mean, the choo-choo carts probably prefigured it, and that one way or another there would probably be some sort of train system in Fontaine. Which ended up being the aqua buses. You have to wonder what this looked like when it wasn't in a state of utter disarray. Oh well. Go back over into this part here and find nothing. In that case. Yep. What was that last piece of jade? Where is it going to be? Maybe I really do need to just find the other carp. How many spirit carp do I have right now? I've got 27. Should be able to find them eventually, one way or another. There are only 23 more. Okay, well, alright. The rest of this. 
nothing up top on the ceiling or anything, but there was a piece of jade around here, I believe, but I can't go down there in that part of the water. That's... that's fine. Hmm. Actually, wait. This little nook over here. I'm wondering... Go up inside this area. Oh, uh, there's nothing. That was just... Well, it wasn't anything, that's what it was. Wouldn't even call it a red herring. It was just... Passively irrelevant. Mm, well... Moon Jade is over here. Lingyuan is not here right now. Moon Jade Oblation. Level 1, rewards, and we can get all the way to 10 eventually. A few more... Ugh, ugh, a few more quaint fades. But... I'm just gonna find them all fairly, normally, and do other stuff after that. In that case, maybe what I'll do is go through Southern Mountain first. It is kind of amusingly in reverse. So I went to Upper Vale first, so exploring it in somewhat the opposite order might be a little silly. Not necessarily in a bad way. So Huagong is actually slightly over here now too, maybe. Well, I want to go about this. So this is sort of the borderline of that I've notated, denoted, of barrier between Southern Mountain, Upper Vale. Well, I'll figure it out. Now I think I'll teleport over here. This water shouldn't really cause any issue one way or another. Mm -hmm. okay. This part over here reminds me of this sort of area in Dihua. I mean, Bishui and Bishui. Floating little islands out in the middle of the water. Hmm. Got another fishing point over there. Another little waterfall, too. And those boxes. Alright. Hmm. That case. This will take a short little fishing break. Can't hurt. Said. So there are no Shionjo beasts around, so it seems you can put Ganyu back in the party. For okay. Shire o dashikudasai. Oh, we got more koi. Not the Jade Heart Feather Bass, too. Okay, well. Do a bit of fishing, get a bit closer to that funny fishing achievement, maybe. That would send me over to that other side in Sumeru, but I'm pretty sure there aren't any quests there. So I did do a bit of looking around earlier. I do find it interesting that they added a bit more to Matayuma, but it was totally empty. So they added a bit more to Realm of Farakar back when Fontaine first came out. They did add a few quests, I mean, a few chests. No quest and no NPCs in that area over there, but they did flush it out a little. It's interesting for sure. Gotta wonder. Okay. Yeah, it's not like I can exchange these fish for anything, but it's closer to that target, and if they're here, I may as well get them. I do wonder, once I actually get that. Oh, that was orna that one was ornamental. That's why it was so annoying. So I eventually get that 2,000 fish caught achievement. I wonder if I'll just stop fishing when I find fish around. We'll see. Get over here. Oh, that was too close. Shame, shame, shame. Come on, come on. There we go. We got it. We got it. Get over here. And these are... Are they carp or koi? No, they were koi. Well, koi are carp. Technically, so are goldfish. Uh, not a lot of people know this, but goldfish are basically dwarf koi. Yep, really, really big, too. Goldfish adeptus. Okay, that took four. Is this gonna, gonna be an ornamental one, too? Or is this four, four is sort of normal? Okay, I guess four is normal enough for it. Okay. Let's wait for day, day rise. 
daylight, sunrise. Okay, so daylight, sunrise, and sunlight. They're all real and valid words, but never heard someone purposely say day rise. Why am I talking about this? Go down here. Really do wonder whether the Temple of Silence might end up being in the desert area that would get added in that sort of big gaping hole in the middle of Tibet now. Because there is a lot of speculation on this topic. There's an area in the academia that we can already access, this tiny little area between the sanctuary and the main academia of the Garden of Silence, the Razan Garden. And the wording is similar enough, including in the original languages, that a lot of people think that it's the same thing. But I don't know. In the end, whatever leads some more Sano lore. Okay. Over here, over here. Come on, come on. Another Akaimao. Another Red Demon King. Ooh. Ooh. And go over, get the last one. Okay. Here we go. I do find it interesting that I only know the Japanese specifically, but she doesn't use her own name as a personal pronoun in the Japanese. It was interesting because it is a way that childish speech is often indicated in Japanese media, but she uses the first person pronoun oira, which is another way to indicate that, which doesn't exactly have any kind of equivalent translation in English. So it makes sense that they did it the way they did it, but still. Okay, so you can just use these carp to traverse over to that side of that Sumeru shoreline. Okay. Oh, now there are Shihanjo beasts. Three of them! Oh my goodness. You have got to be kidding me. Good old Shingi back in the party. Hello, hello. Over this way, then. Come on, and did we get it? We did get it. Okay, cool. Nice, and there. Come on, get over this way. Over this way. And let's just plunge, plunge, and let's see. Come on. Oh, and yep, all of you are just lying on the ground in pieces. Okay, and one more. Oh, we didn't even need that. There we go. A tremendous performance. Come on, come on. Diligence. So we can put Ganyu back at party real quick. Because until we run into Shionjo Beast, she will be more useful than him. These... I would say that this is sort of a grim assessment based on utility, but... In the end... Uh... There are only five characters I'm switching between in and out in the first place, and all of them were chosen mostly because they were already relevant to the area and to the patch. I'm optimizing, I'm optimizing over a very limited set of choices. Okay, so... A few more of these over here. So there are four of these lanterns, then. Actually, not lanterns, they're tea kettles. It's actually... Oh, so I could just move that back. This is an easier way to... simpler way to do it. Said it honestly takes... Seems like it would take longer than it would otherwise. If I had just gone about it more quickly. So I could just... Instead of moving that, I could have stood on it and... Brought that tea whisk back some other way. It is what it is. That's over here. Oh, so they actually move. Oh, but... Oh, that's actually very interesting. So with enough time, they'll unlight. Okay, so what I need to do is actually... 
move them over at the same time as that one unlights and moves back. And... Okay, now I understand. I'll have to apologize. I wasn't familiar with your game. And move that one over. Yep. And just this one over here. Just like this. There we go. Move over to the other side and actually shoot myself over there and there we go. Nice! Chest obtained. Grab that real quickly. Cool. It's to be shown something new and strange. Soul Southern Mountain. Do you think I'd like to check this shoreline just to be sure? Because it's this little area over here that got added. I did do a little preliminary glance some time ago and nothing came up. But no chest left unopened. No chest left unopened. Now we're at 46... 46... 64 rolls on any limited banner already, so... You're already well prepared for Chiyori. We'll see if she's any good. Can't really talk about weeks right now while the stream event is still on, but... We will see. Wait, what? How do I... I have to jump off, or maybe I have to glide over from the other mountain? It's possible. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I'll just re-log and see if that does it. But I do get the hunch that I have to do this by going to this part over a mountain hula and gliding down. It's the only time I've seen an unopened chest before. Didn't have anything special going on. There was some garbage related to actions on a mountain. That was over in Tadarasuna. You had to jump off the mountain, I believe. Where are you now? You're over here. And. Oh, goodness. Full damage death. Sure, go ahead. Do that. I can't and will not stop you. Come on, come on, come on. Go up here and. Yeah. Is that done there? Let's actually increase our speed again real quick. One, two, three. Okay. So now we're gonna try this. We're gonna glide down. See if doing it like this is gonna let us open that chest. And given that we can see this chest from over here. Let me see. Hmm. Okay, it's not opening up from this side. That's what I might have thought, that flooding over, standing on the opposite side of the mountain would show up, but oh, it looks like it's literally just an animo slime that I hadn't seen before. I'm stupid. Okay. And wait. Let's keep looking. How many more might there be then? So if that didn't open it, there have, there have got to be more. It's over there. See how much we have to leave the shot. Oh, please, please. Okay. So there were two. I'm not even I'm not sure whether they showed up at the same time or not. That's the real thing. Okay. So do we have that many trash artifacts? We're not that close to filling up the inventory, but just in case I would like to use a few of them just so that I don't end up with another mishap where I open a chest on a ledge and things spill out into the abyss below. Okay. Do arguably need a bit more crit rate on Navia, but should hopefully get a few from substat rolls. Hmm. She will get more when I give her Serpent Spot again when I use her again, but still. It's not entirely ideal. Hmm. Let's. Maybe explore this part of this ledge? Not ledge, this raised ridge, yeah. It's as precise of a term as I'm gonna get for it. Hmm. This little part over here was always there, slightly west of Mount Aujong. Hmm, let me see. Let's go down here and 
resume our sojourn. Not a sojourn, resume our travels. So this is just, if it was a sojourn, we would be staying in one location. I guess maybe it could count depending on how inclusive your definition of one location is, because if the entirety of Chenyu Vale is one location, I guess it could count. Back when Inazuma first came out, the event was called Thunder Sojourn. So I guess that would be counting the entirety of Inazuma's one singular location that would could, in fact, sojourn in. I'm losing it. Come on. And that goat figured that jumping off the mountain was a preferable alternative to dying at my hand. I can't say I agree. All that meat is going to go to waste. To be fair, it kind of would have gone to waste anyway, but it's neither here nor there, really. It would have gone to waste in my hands instead of lying on the ground. And I would prefer that at waste, so... Why doesn't the goat care about my feelings? And, okay, I'm gonna smash stone up here, and... Hmm, it's down there, but also... Does I touch that when I go down this part of Mount Zwanland? I don't know. Wait, so that... That's still an upper dale. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Goodness, goodness. Don't kill me. Don't let me die. Okay. It all seems like nothing right now. Is that one Hillatrol camp over there? Maybe I will just... FPS it up with Ganyu and see how that works out. Ever go all shooty? Hello. And good snipe. Oh goodness. That's just okay. When you stay still and taunt, we can. Hi. Okay, cool. Oh, frozen, frozen. Good stuff. Yeah, keep going with that. Take a little longer to actually get the kill this way, but not that I care. Hi. Here we go, and the chest is already open. That's just... Oh, but we'll have to get up top. Can I climb this, or...? Okay, I can. Nice. Took me a long time before I found out that I could actually climb up the edge that way. But now I know. So it isn't immediately obvious. And it is supposed to encourage using a bow, which is exactly why. Enemy drops tend to fall off the tower instead of staying on top. That said, they do stay off sometimes, stay on it sometimes. Generally, it's happened more often to me when I've actually gone on top of the tower to fight them, which gives me the impression that there's some sort of calculation there based on your altitude compared to the enemy when you kill them to determine whether, whether their drops fall off or stay on the platform. But I neither can or particularly want to go digging around in the code. So... Hmm. It's from this side of Mount Aojong. It really does feel strange to be on this side of Mount Aojong again, especially since... It's been... Okay, I gotta close my window. It's getting cold. I'll be right back. It's been literal years since I did my initial clearing out of non-chasm leeway areas. So being back around Huaguang Stone Forest for any meaningful amount of time in general is just a little disorienting to me. Not in a bad way, but it's just, yeah, this place does exist. Hmm. Let's just... so where's today's... Ley line? They're over... all in the rest of Leeway. Because Ley Lines can actually spawn in Chenyu Vale now, which is... very interesting. But they do have... The one Ley Line that I did in Chenyu was around here. And there was a couple of... Ruin Greater... it was a couple of Ruin Guards and a... Oh, that seems new. I'm pretty sure that's new. 
couple of Ruin Guards and a Ruin Hunter, and it had been so long since I had fought any of those enemies. It's kind of crazy, honestly. Okay, and come on. Oh my goodness. Come on, let's just screw over there and come on. Plunge and what, 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 what? Okay. Come on, come on. Let's just do it like this then, maybe? Okay, there we go. That was surprisingly easy. Not complaining. She did not get that back. Okay. Well, whether they were always there or not, they're dead now. And, well, they would respawn, I assume, but... For now, that is not my problem. Hmm. Names over there. Because yeah, I don't remember fighting one Geo Bishop, but two Geo Bishop hatchlings, and that just clipped inside the wall. I do remember doing that time trial challenge on that pedestal you can see over there, but again, it was a long, long time ago. Oh, more Coral Apis. Not that I need any more of that, because every... all three characters who use that I have <laughs> leveled up, but... Mm, there's a third one. I'm betting that's a Whopper Flower. It's not, actually. Okay. Weird. That one is a Whopper Flower, though, so... Hmm. Honestly, it would be interesting, and I'm sure they maybe thought about it, about adding more Statue of the Seven levels and more Oculi instead of adding a new reward system. Because it was an option. It's something they could have done. They just chose not to do it. There's just... No rule, at least no rule that I know, that says that, other than consistency, I, su I suppose, that says that Statues of the Seven have to max out at ten. But, for better or worse, they just decided to make new reward systems, like the Lumenstone Adjuvant, and I do find it particularly interesting, and maybe it implies that the plans were not always to have Girdle of the Sands come out during... The 3x 3.x series that Girdle of the Sand simultaneously had Dentroculi and Party Blooms for the Armor to Pool. It's it's just curious. In the sky darken there and only there. Oh, it might have just been that shadow actually. I think it was that shadow. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Shadow of that big tree. Honestly, not used to games being that dynamic in terms of lighting. It was a cool effect, though. Immersive. But, but, but. Ah, okay, so there's one over there. Oh, I think I saw that one before. I think I made that show up by doing some other. Bit of exploration, because I remember seeing it overhead. There's a little mini cutscene highlighting that mini platform, and yep, they did add at least one more Coral Apis location right here. Okay. Yeah. Where there is a Sealy, but. Hmm. Yodi of Valley. Let's just. That over there. How much time will I have for all this? Hi. So, over to the other side, over there, and one way or another, this should do it. And, yep, chest open. Grab our well-earned, yet meager reward, and... Go over to the other side to beat up a few more illatrules. Oh, there are three Sealy monuments over for that precious chest. Alright, well... As will be this. Hi. Oh goodness, that is bad news. Can I get you to go in the water? Yeah, come in the water and freeze. There we go. Now we can just keep hitting you. There we go. Funny cheese. I do like and appreciate that the shields totally stop working once you get an enemy frozen. Though I will admit that it doesn't really make all that much sense. Especially when the shield isn't even frozen. The one interesting thing is that, as a necessary consequence of needing to use 
Pyro to, bri Pyro or Geo to break the shields, they're all valid targets for elemental application. Which means that if you feel like it and you want to, you can actually freeze a shield. It doesn't actually do anything, but you can do it. There's no point to it, but you can do it. <laughs> and another goat I failed to kill. I can live to prance upon the mountains another day, I guess. Another Hillitrol camp, though I might have gotten that one out already. Oh, heart-shaped. Heart-shaped, that's cute. It said, I'm not sure if that... Hmm, I'm just gonna mark that over there just to be sure. Maybe get someone on here eventually to test that out and see if you can... Did not need all caps that, don't mind. You can make... It just show up in the middle if you both stand inside. I'd have to not trigger the last blooms, and they're already sealing these there too. Well, okay. Put Xing Chao back in to fight this Xiangzhou beast. She's got her deal going on too. Oh, please. Okay, there we go. Do not want to fight that Whopper Flower right now. We can take on another part of that fight. Oh, please. There we get it. Okay, come on. And just like this. And can we... There we go. Come on, come on. Okay, you are playing a mobile on the ground. And there we go. Oh! So it just shows up after that. Well, that's okay, I guess. Come on. Let's just grab you. And we can vaporize, but it still doesn't do all that much damage. Okay, cool. And did nothing. Did nothing. Ah, uh, but vaporizing those hits, actually. Quite capably. And that was just a common chest. How do you use this? Ah. It still remains incredibly funny. How little Shen who knows about quote unquote being human. Uh, and did that. Oh, I guess it just repeatedly failed to crit. That's why. So it didn't seem to drop anything unless it just fell down the mountain without me seeing. Okay. Come on, come on. How many more of these do I need? Alright. Alright. One, two, three, okay. Grab this and that and... Ooh, baby. Okay, so there is that mushroom over there, and I will have to deal with that eventually, but... Now is not the time. Mushroom can live to fight another day. Live to die another day. Okay. In that case, no, not up there. There are a few violet grasses over there on that part of the mountain. So. Alright, level 93 goat. I do wonder. Could I. Oh no, but the treasure compass is in there right now. I remember hearing that you could actually catch the goats. I'm gonna try that. Let's catch a goat. Quick swap. Four is gonna be nets. I don't really actually use the treasure compasses. I'm. Honestly, thorough enough that I don't particularly need them. And what I miss, I don't particularly care to lose. Wait, what? Let me see. Well, either I miss or I can't grab them. We'll see. Hmm. Imagine trying that on a Shionjo beast. Either way, having Pyro is going to be good for dealing with that. Slime, maybe? Well, let's actually just light that up and see if see what that triggers. It's gonna do them. Oh, and when it goes in the ground, it actually looks kind of like one of the blossoms. That's funny. Hmm. Seems like I'm just gonna have to trigger them all manually if triggering them d does anything at all. Hi. Yeah, just burn them. Burn them. Burn them. Hi. Keep on burning. Let's just let you burn to death. That's funny, too. And yep. Since... Oh, but it's actually over now. Okay, cool. Do your thing. And nice, we can actually... 
get Melton on one of them, but you actually shook off. Shook off for Melton. Oh, I guess there were other ones in the ground that had been spawned, because got more particles from that than I would have expected to. Maybe. Because I do know that large dangerous slimes can spawn smaller dangerous slimes. And I knew that the smaller ones don't drop materials, but I guess it makes sense that in spite of that, they could still drop particles. Okay, so... Oh, so I guess it's gonna fly up to a random spot in the sky, and we're gonna have to... Okay, now it's not moving. Yep, and interact with it via... Yep. Via touching it in the sky by using a car to get to the right location. Cool. I do like when they have multiple challenges that by way of freeing freeing sealies and like a single chest. Whenever you have a feeling of slight piece by piece progression like that. It's always immensely satisfying to both unlock the intermediate steps and then complete it finally at the end. Ugh. Where there is not entirely the correct location, but it's close enough. So we, yep, we got a couple more pieces of Coral Apis, which I will grab due to being an inveterate collector. Okay. I wonder if I was, couldn't even really tell. It was, were the initial three hits too fast to actually get all three pieces, or... Because getting wood from a tree is based on an internal timer, and if you're too fast, it won't unlock. The rest is... Which is part of why I like using claymores instead, because you can just... Most of the time, you can just mash. And it won't be an issue, because the claymore attacks are slow enough. But some of the claymores, especially the newer ones, are fast enough that it doesn't always do the trick. I don't know. Either way, I'm going to check over here and see what I can find. Hmm. Okay. Over this way. And that before was a... I think there was a little sparkle there too, but either way, it's just a random chest. Platforming on those little wooden spikes, but... Now that Chenny is over here, I wonder if anything was added on... This side? It does not entirely seem like it. Mm -hmm. It does not really seem like it. Mm -hmm. So actually, maybe... Yeah, going here would be the best bet to get back to that top of the ridge quickly, actually. It is the most use that that that, that Noblesse and Bloodstained Chivalry domain has provided me in a very long time. I am almost certain that that was originally a Geoculus tree. Well, it still is. It's just that I got the Geoculus a long time ago. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you know. She still does, but she used to, too. Okay. And, yeah, we were in the shadow of that tree nice and briefly. I will say, though, that the little transitional time does kind of take me out of it, because... And it obviously was done to make things less visually jarring. But in the real world, when you step out of a shadow, and things get brighter, they do it quite quickly. Okay. It seems like that burnt grass is recovered through preternatural means. Supernatural vitality, maybe. Hmm. Down there, this part of the ridge. Oh, I could have just circled back around, really, but eh, whatever. I'm here. I'm here now, one way or the other, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, okay. Look up and around, continue surveying the landscape and environment. Environment. Okay. This has got a weird little bit of nondescript ruins over here, and this is this is sort of the boundary between upper and southern. 
It's Upper Vale and Southern Mountain, not Upper Vale and Lower Mountain, or Northern Vale and Southern Mountain. I wonder why they chose their somewhat incongruous terms. Who knows? I would assume that they were just more congruent either through denotation or connotation in the original Chinese, and it's just a matter of localization being either improper or not really able to fit the situation. I don't know. There's only so much you can do by mere speculation. Oh, the wa that waterfall is just over there, so there's really nothing to it. Oh, this is another one of those puzzles. I like that. Okay. Come on. Let's just go physical here. Goodbye. Oh, there was a bit more, actually. Come on, come on. Okay, I thought maybe I might have gotten hit by that knife because of the way I timed my movements. Oh, nice! Are you doing any mix-ins, or...? Because I, a lot of people in my family like to make blue, blue, blueberry or chocolate chip. Oh, chicken and waffles. That's nice. So, is the chicken from scratch too, or? Just wondering. Sounds good. So is that your lunch, or? Ah, uh, just a second. Okay, just checking the... Let's check in the mic real quickly. So we got a few more of you over here. Oh, we can just... We should just do physical plunges. That would end things rather quickly. Come on, come on. Over there, over there, and... Grab that. Oh, more of you! More? Oh, come on. Okay. Plunge, plunge, hit, and... Last one, last one, and goodbye, goodbye. Oh, well, more, more, okay. Keep on going, I guess. It is your prerogative. So in that case, keep on hitting. See what furniture item we get here. And just like that. And one more, and there we go. We managed to jump up and come down enough times to obliterate all those clowns. Good stuff. Let's get this exquisite chest and see what we got from it. Alligate bustling yard. Hope it turns out good. It's actually just... Ah, oh, Courtyard Master is still waiting for me, so that was... It's part of that. I don't think I had to kill the treasure workers yet, that, but... Sabin saw such a scene would surely be filled with sorrow. Four corners of the courtyard are tiny, it should be enough. You know, just a bit. Okay. In that case... That one gonna be... Over here. Or no, that was just the wall. Okay, so the wall should go over here, given that it's got this wide base. Maybe let's see. No. So where does that one go? That is more than a little strange. If some of them are pillars, obviously. I would guess this one might be a pillar, or no. Weird. Four corners of the courtyard. Corners of the courtyard. Let's see. I need to make sure there's no doubt over where... Okay, that moved over there, and I... Hmm. Maybe I need... That one. This over here, and this should be good. Oh, but it was too close to actually snap. Let's try that again. Okay, that correctly snapped. So the last one should be this wall over here. Frankly, it looks similar enough to the other wall that I'm not sure why it was so obtrusive. Oh, it's because of the placement deal. Oh, wow. I'm impressed. The most I ever really made for, from scratch were brownies, and since I don't really eat sweets anymore, it's been a long time since I've done that. I really respect people who cook anything from scratch like that, especially... My family occasionally has made fried chicken from scratch, and that's enough already, but... Oh, fair. Oh, family farm. That's really cool. Yeah, I... 
It's been a long time since I was anywhere close to a farm, but that that's really cool. I respect that. I have a lot of respect for that. Let's see. Go up here and nab myself some white iron chunks. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, so... Is it freshly slaughtered chicken? Oh, wow. It's about as fresh as it gets. So another vault grass over here. Yeah, that's close to the boats over that way, and... Ooh. Can't sit on that rock, but... That's fine. So have I been up here before? Might have been. Because I know that... Yeah, I think I have. There's one where I shot some animo slimes. It might have been this spot. I am not entirely sure. Huh. Huh. Hmm. So in that case, we are going to go back down to that little ledge over there. Hmm. Sort of circle down this way. And then I'll have gotten most everything in this part of Southern Mountain. It's a ridge over here. Then after that, it'll be the larger mountain over this way, a little bit left of Yadia Valley. Hmm. Do like to leave the city area for blast. Oh, wow. That reminds me, you might have seen it. There was some story someone posted on the internet about how he was estranged from his father for the longest time, and then he rekindled his relationship, and it led to his dad just dropping off random fish to eat every weekend or so after a random text message. And you know, I can't say that's a bad relationship. Okay. In that case, let's just go over. Okay, we got a bit of fire uh, in here. Okay, a bit of use for power on this point. Okay, come on, and let's see. Plunge. Oh, goodness. That's not great. How many times do we need? Oh, when I miss. I miss. I miss. Oh, goodness. Come on, come on. How many times do we have to hit? Oh, but there's a bit of physical resistance. That... Oh, okay, we can do it like that then. Oh, nice. So every day it's been chicken and waffles. Honestly, I can sympathize in the sense that I don't get as tired of eating the same food as long as the food's good. Because usually what I eat is I make some miso udon for, miso udon for myself with meat and vegetables in the house. And generally speaking, if no one else has made anything... That's what I eat any given night. And other people will comment when we have leftovers, like my dad made a big pork roast a few days ago, and we've been eating that since, and he said, I'm just going to put it in the freezer because even I get tired of, well, even he, even he gets tired of eating the same thing for so long in a row, and I'm just sort of, you know, fair enough, but I am even more inclined to eating, to eating the same thing again and again than you, it seems. But, nothing wrong one way or another, it's just a somewhat funny anecdote, but, like I said, do you do any mix-ins in your waffles, like blueberries or chocolate chips? Because the last time my, my dad made waffles, he put in some blueberries, if I recall correctly. Like I said, I don't do too well with sh overly sugary foods, so I had to... Sadly turn them down, but other people seem to be very, very fond of them. Last year for my birthday. Oh, nice. Yeah, I... Honey is the closest thing to sugar that I can really personally tolerate. So... I haven't had it in a while. But last fall I was eating a good amount of Greek yogurt. And I would put in a bit of fruit and a generous amount of honey whenever I ate it. Because Greek yogurt is... I would get it unsweetened, and it was already pretty sour and proteiny to begin with, so it needed a bit of doctoring, a bit of treatment. But it was really, really nice with honey. So waffles and chicken with honey. Okay, okay. I've actually never had 
Chicken and waffles myself, but that does seem to line up from what I've seen and heard about it. I don't want to be presumptuous, but are you familiar with the origin story of chicken and waffles? Because it's highly connected to a very specific style of music, actually. And I'm not sure whether you know it or not already, but it's a really, really cool fact, in my opinion. Okay, I think I'm going to go down to the snow real quickly. Check out that area where they added a bit more to Matayima and see if there are any chests or at least smash stones there. Okay. I'm going to go over to the other side. Yeah, yeah, it's... It's jazz food. So I'm probably repeating stuff you already know, but it was for jazz musicians because they would play so late at night that by the time they got done, and it ate up all their dinner time too, basically no restaurants would be open anymore and most of their lines would be closed down so they didn't really have much in the way of ingredients to make them food with. So they'd come in and say, okay, we need something with whatever you have. And they invented chicken and waffles because it was what they could make with the ingredients they had left. Which, it's really, really interesting. I mentioned earlier that I checked out the trains in France when I was there. Because last year I graduated from college. And when that all got done, I went on a trip to Europe with the other guys in the choir. Because they would have international tours every now and then. International performance tours. And, well, I say that like it was a big deal, but it was really just a vacation where we sung. And, and put on a couple of informal concerts for people. But when I was there, the first place we went to was Rome. And one of my friends from the choir, he was telling me all about how when he had studied abroad in Italy, one of the things that he had learned about, because they had to take a class on Roman Italian culture, was how much of Italian gourmet food was essentially originated as poverty food. That it was a matter of people being creative when they didn't have a lot of ingredients. And a lot, not a lot of high quality ingredients. And then after time it became popular and got elevated by way of partially just having access to better ingredients. Oh, cool. If it isn't too private, what do you do? That's really cool. Is it military, government? Again, if it isn't too private, I would be more than interested to hear more stories. But, like I was saying, like I was saying, through either just more cultural attention and people taking it more seriously or just access to better ingredients. Oh, that's cool. I can't imagine how stressful that might be. I had a couple of friends in Arazi back in college and they were always really, really busy. But I, like I was saying, a lot of, and the specific example we give is carbonara, in that it was made with what was originally considered low quality meat, though of course, when it started being made into good food, people's opinion of that changed, because... Apparently, people weren't as fond as they weren't as fond of guanciale or jowl bacon until people invented carbonara, more or less. But when people started making and eating and liking carbonara, all of a sudden they realized, oh, this is actually something worth keeping and selling at a high price. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. But and the big thing apparently was that, and I didn't know this, but carbonara was done because during the sort of Marshall Plan era post World War II. Apparently, though, I might not be remembering this correctly, but I think what he said was that they got a lot of, yeah, exactly, American cheese. Well, not as an American variety cheese, but cheese as American supplies, and it wasn't all that high quality, and it wasn't what they were used to. And the best thing they were able to make with it eventually was apparently carbonara. Which, considering how good carbonara is, I can't say I'm mad. But... As I was saying beforehand, as I was saying beforehand, I also had a chance to try some peachy over in Siena, where I got very sick from drinking contaminated water. But if you're familiar with peachy, or if you aren't, it was the big sort of... Honestly, I would compare it to udon, if anything else, but it was the big 
spaghetti. Big fat thick spaghetti, and I couldn't find a restaurant that sold it, because so I ended up having it with a bit of roe and garlic. But apparently the classic peachy sauce is basically a breadcrumb sauce. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Tell me how that goes if you do. It sounds really cool. I... I've never made pasta for, from scratch. It does sound like the kind of thing I'd want to try eventually. Please, Mr. Anna Mergusier, by doing that, and... But, more generally, I had fresh-cut pasta once, and I was not able to fully appreciate it, because it was on my birthday many, many years ago, about a decade ago now, and I had really, really, really bad... I had a really, really, really bad cold that day, that week in general. So my nose was so stuffed that I could not smell my food, and therefore I could not taste my food. So it was really, really sad, because my family was just, Oh look, we're taking you to this really cool restaurant, and I had to be, Thank you, thank you. I'm sorry I can't taste any of my food, but thank you anyway. <laughs> it was a somewhat uncomfortable situation for everyone involved. But it was interesting, it was interesting for sure. But yeah. Italian food is just really, really good. I would like to ideally go back to Europe one day on my own time and go through some restaurants eventually when I'm not sick. Because, like I said, I drank some contaminated water in Siena and got really, really sick. I got sick pretty early on, but I was really sick for the latter half of so, latter half or so, which really, really sucked. <laughs> Because there was all this good food and all this these opportunities to go to really nice restaurants. And I couldn't partake in almost any of it. For the last week of the trip, I couldn't even really leave the hotel at all most of the time. And we were busting ourselves in between various towns. So I was just on the bus trying not to die. And <laughs> everyone else was going out having Black Forest ham or nice French food. And I was just sitting in the hotel just playing the... I was actually, that was around the time of the big TCG event where Kirara first showed up with Charlotte, but that's neither here nor there at this point. And this is the one from the Nahida story quest, actually. Yeah. You know, maybe one day, maybe one day I'll hit it big and go on a concert tour of Europe or something and get another chance to eat good European food again. We'll see. Either way, I I drank a lot of water. I need to go take a quick bathroom break for the sake of responsibility, so to speak. So I'll be right back. Thanks for the conversation, by the way. It's been a lot of fun. One day I'll get to eat croissants again. Real croissants.
Okay, I'm back. But... Ah. So, it's time to go and get a bit more Chinny Vale in. I'm curious, personally. Do you like Souls games at all? Because I've been playing through a few of the Souls games on stream right now. In particular, I'm working through Dark Souls 2 right now after having done Dark Souls 1 a bit earlier. And once I get done with all the FromSoft games, well, we saw the FromSoft action RPGs, what I'm wondering is, you know, maybe I get into Armored Core, maybe I even get into some of the older ones like Kingsfield, but that missed. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go, we got that. That was embarrassing. But I also bought Monster Hunter World on Steam a little bit ago when it was on sale. I'm just wondering... Oh, interesting. Let's... There we go. We got seven. Now you'll move to the middle, right? Oh, no. We have to... Ah, uh, that moves it. So it's sort of a moving shooting challenge. Oh, I did not mean to do that. But that does seem like something that would be fun to play eventually. Oh, so it's got a limited amount of time before it moves back, actually. Interesting. Okay. Go. Got a few more. And... Oh, now they go up. That's interesting. Hello. Now we can move that, maybe? Let's see. Okay, nice. Nice. That should be it. There we go. Oh, and that... Now the gate goes, and it's gonna send us back to the chest. That was pretty cool. I do like that they found some ways to make the archery challenges a bit more interesting. Considering that, in the end, they are some of the more vanilla time trial challenges in the game. In Valoria Mirage, one thing they did that I really liked is that they had some archery challenges that mix it up in the sense that they had multiple kinds of archery objectives, not just one. So, oh, and that was too close. So there would be one... Bloaty floaty, one barrel, and one an one animo slime, for example. And that was, in the end, they were just different kinds of targets. But even that was pretty fun. But that right now, where the platform itself moved around, that was enjoyable. I liked that a lot. Especially since, frankly, I suck at aiming my bow. Actually... Technically, it was Ganyu. It's all Ganyu's fault. Let's blame Ganyu. Mm -hmm. I made that. Go up and grab myself. Okay, well. Nothing even showed up. I guess it was just a little reward for going to this edge of the world. Because. Mm -hmm. Essentially, we know almost for a fact that 3.6 is going to be. Mount Asus, given that we don't have every Hydrooculus yet. But that doesn't mean it has to be the only thing. Depends on how big Mount Asus is, because if Mount Asus is relatively small and they don't add something like the Ruins of Remuria under it, they might also add, I don't know, the remaining Sumeru area. That said, I do feel like the remaining Sumeru area would be about as big as all of Chenyu Vale that got added is. So I feel like that would honestly be a bit much to add in a single patch that isn't a .0 version. I don't know, though. In the end, they can literally just do whatever they want. It's their game. None of the rules are rules. They're just patterns of behavior that they've shown so far and have no real obligation to continue on with. It's kind of like the debate of what a vanilla style mod is in Minecraft. Because Mojang is never bound to, by any sort of rule of style because what's vanilla style is entirely determined by what they decide to put in vanilla. And frankly, 
I don't necessarily think that healing too closer to that is necessarily a good thing as someone who has a decently strong preference for modded Minecraft over vanilla Minecraft a lot of the time. Let me see, actually. If I go up here... Okay, so that's just... Can't go up straight, but however you put it, you can just grab the spirit carp that way. Okay, so that was... That was the purpose of the existence of that wrathful simulacra. Well, that's settled. In that case, just jump up. Nothing's really there, but okay. That's clearly another combat challenge. How much? Okay. Nice. Okay. Mm hmm. Keep on going. Find a few more trashore chests. Mm. Over this way. Oh! More snapdragon. No, that was a crab. Crab dragon. Snapdragon's really over here. In the end, it has been five billion years since I've actually had a recipe that has required snapdragons, but we can we can chill with that within 120 seconds. Oh, that. Ah, interesting. Well, actually, we can just shoot. Hi. Hello. And oh, interesting. So what was that? Weird icon that appeared over one of them. Was that... Oh, we could have just teleported to one of them to... Oh, get that done. Easy. Oh, goodness. Come on. Oh, please. You know what? You know what? You know what? Let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. We don't need to... Oh, we can actually just... Oh, to make them vanish entirely. Yep, I should be making better use of that then. Hi. Hello. That back and where are the rest? Over there. Okay, explode, explode. Explode, die. Oh! Stone hide a Oh, well. Doesn't matter if we can just freeze you. Hi. Yep. Lovely cheese. Rain, why don't you? Rain, why don't you? Okay, clearly, clearly. What? Okay! Okay! Come on, come on. And just. Let's see. How many more? Die. Die. Okay, just you. Enjoy your chicken and waffles. Thanks for popping in. Come back anytime. Ah. And that's done. But Ganyu is dead. It's not entirely ideal. Hmm. Okay. Sinaragon. Well, she didn't really need her burst, did she? Doesn't really need to have her burst up and available, does she? I'm sorry. I'm sorry you died. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tea tree slope is kind of in between them. Maybe. I think I can probably get most of. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go over here and go in that little cave real quickly. I marked that before a long time ago. I just want to check what's inside there. Okay. There's a little cave with some treasure hoarders. I want to check that out. Okay. Hi. Come on. Cool, cool, cool. There for the physical hits. Pleasantly poised that, and okay, in the way of that, goodbye. Come on, come on, come on, and keep throwing your knife, why don't you? Keep throwing your knives, why don't you? Yes, please. Actually, we can just blast him. There we go. Oh, it's literally just the cliff face. Okay, cool. Come on, come on. Come on. And melt, melt, melt. That said, how much left? How much left? Oh, okay, well. Here we go. That might be on the other side of anything. Might be on the other side of... Oh, and you noticed me all the way over there. Interesting. I'm trying to snipe with those knives. Okay. 
Mm. Okay, please, please, please. Oh, it just went between them. Those are some thin hitboxes. Okay. And did anything come out of that, or... Maybe there were going to be more of them? Maybe. Hmm. Come on. Oh, hi. And, oh, there was a simulacrum in there. That's funny. Wait, so how do I open that up? Really, I... Huh. Someone's notes. Notes. Mm. Appearance of wild beasts, collapsing structures, or stopped excavating Shijing walls, summon everyone back to base camp and reconvene there. Subter beast merchant team mount tunnels, prepare to receive them. We the seventh roll the wine barrel to keep away wants someone to see it. Forcibly interrupted. Wait. How do I get that open then? So keep following this trail? This might actually lead to the other piece of jade. Let's say something about Chijan Wall. What's up here? On this trail of pine cones. Hmm. Okay. Well. Seems like the trail has come to an end. Base camp. Base camp. Well, I'll find it one way or another eventually, but... I have to wonder what it is. Another spirit carp up there. I may as well go for that. And another random chest here on the mountain. Okay. Okay. In that case... Let's go up here, see what we get. Anything. Hi. And, okay, and just a uh, standard 40 simulacrum, leading to one of those. Okay, cool. Couple of Shionjo bees who I do not want to deal with right now. Okay, well. It was uneventful. Nothing was found. But. There's that one chest over there, and. Well, maybe down over... Oh, I'm stupid. Didn't even notice that there was another one down there. Okay, so... This is going to be the end of it, then. Hi. Beat you up and we should be able to free that final simulacrum. Is that it? Was that it? Let me see. What? It's still... Oh, now it's going. What's that noise? Can I open that up yet? No, I can't. Hmm. Chijong wall. Oh, so maybe this is supposed to send you over and this is gonna get us the... It's gonna get us the thing? I really don't know. Well, whatever. Let's grab this. And keep on going. Okay. There's a page over there and... Various things. Rock drops keep falling my Oh, so they've got... Who am I? Doesn't remember his name. Oh my goodness. And they've all got a bit of damage already taken because... Uh, it's so funny. Okay, well... You're gone, so it's time to beat up the rest. Cool. Guess I could have had Shion Yun come in, but eh, whatever. Come on. Come on. This will more than do the trick. Yeah, the plunges don't do all that much damage in comparison. Scoundrels are enemies, run boys. That was. What was that? Something buried? Strange key. Who knows what lock it opens? Maybe that's Samulacrum? Maybe. Hmm. So are these cages gonna open up like this, or...? Either way, I'm sure that we need to go back. Roughly written letter. But the goods don't listen to those idiots standing around. Wine slits are falling. Rocks, rocks do fall. What are they gonna do? Give me amnesia? Let's get the goods. Clearly it did. My goodness. Well, let's get back up the mountain this way. 
wonder if I'd take fall damage like this. Well, you know, got a glider, so don't need to test that. Is this simulacrum going to open? Okay, well, we got this chest now. What are you going to tell me? Hi. Well, Creedon's all the way here. Or sort me home, just follow the fallen pine nuts. Oh, well. That doesn't tell me all that much. Oh. There are... The falling pine nuts tell a story of our home across the fog. The lands between. Hmm. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Just didn't see that little pedestal behind that log. Come on, come on. What's next? Hmm. I mean, achievement her. Mm -hmm. I do like these little mini quests. They really do feel all the way. Come on. Come on. Oh, so that. Supposed to send me up there was a vantage point to see this part over here. Hi, and we back time. Why not rest with me and my little friends for a bit? It is now appreciate such spectacular scenery. Hmm. Yeah, so we can see. I guess if I'd done this before, I wouldn't have been able to see. Well, part of Mount Lysian over here, but you can see the side of the big. Not the, it's not a nail. Or the whatever that is over there. Hmm. Okay. That's done one way or another. It's still the upper veil. Hmm. Okay. Any more carp anyway? How more carp do I have to get? Okay, I've got 29, 21 more carp, and a lot of a lot of geo sigils. Honestly, I want to see. Exchange those right now. How much more would I get? Because I do need a good amount for getting Farazan and Jao skills all the nine, but still. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Shinji. Have an offer. Okay, let's see. What are we gonna get? We're gonna get. Oh, so there's a limit to how much I can exchange at once. That's funny. Four eighty thousand. Okay, that was a good amount. Four three two. Around five hundred thousand. It's not bad. But I will need a lot more for Farazan and Joe. Okay. Runs a little over a million more. Yes, yeah, so that'd be 130, 27,000 total. So 18,000 more, so yeah. Hmm. Should turn out alright. Don't predict. Much trouble in my way. Hmm. Let's see. A bit more plunge damage out of that. And a bit more damage bonus, which would affect Sean Hume's bonus as well. Hmm. Well, so we'll go back. Over here to. This is the part I was exploring. A segment. So maybe I'll stop at this little part. This little ridge. Circle around. Using changes in the topography denoted by color changes. It does seem to be a pretty good way to check. So just one more. Okay, one spirit card will literally just over there. Then I'm left for later. Okay. Well. Oh, and there was another. You know what? I'll just do that right now. 
deal with that garbage right now. Yeah. My asthma. Yeah. I don't even have asthma. Oh, new music. Okay, cool. There, source has been exposed. Adaptal energy purified. Oh, and it's a Zwanwin beast. Plasma infested monster. Hi. Okay, well, I'm just gonna stay out of the way of that. And Shing Cho's not in the party, so all I can really do is shoot you. And more things are gonna show up until all that's done, it seems. Let's just keep hitting. Oh my, oh my goodness. Okay. Keep going until I finish this up. Come on, come on. Okay, out of, out of my way, out of my- Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Ganyu dies, I swear. Don't die, Ganyu. Frankly, it would entirely be my fault, even if it did happen, so... Okay, you did get a bit of some condensate for that. How much more, how much more? Come on, come on, come on. I do like the bass on this music. I'm expose the depth energy to purify, and... There we go, all clear. Cool. It was nearly very, very bad. I do find it interesting that they have sort of a withering zone equivalent. Because in Inazuma, they did have the stuff. The Sacred Sakura stuff was put pretty close. The little Sacred Sakura branches. But... Uh, I wonder if... Well, that's cleared out whether other enemies will show up there. Because that's what happened with the Withering Zones back in... Sumeru. It's different enough that I can see that not being the case. It's not like there were enemies already there besides those little slimes. They were all connected to the objective. All of them are connected to the objective. But... I don't entirely remember, but I'm pretty sure that only... Spe certain specific enemies in a withering zone have to be killed in order to clear it. I... Don't always trust my memory. Mm -mm. It's that fire over there, but... Mm -mm. Well, we'll be back here eventually. For now, we gotta keep being systematic. <clears throat> okay. Is, there is... There are more carp. Various and sundry locations. And it would be more efficient to just not go out and get them all right now and just get them when I see them when I'm already in the area but it's tempting it's always tempting it's interesting that this little islet is literally not even on the map it does give off a bit of a false impression regarding the traversability of the terrain so you think there's more water than there actually is I'm just gonna get a little bit of 100% dark chocolate. Okay. Hmm. Huh. There we go. Okay, okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. In that case, how are we gonna do this? That. Jump over. That went over that way. Can I project that, or... Wait. Wait. Hmm. This is strange. How am I supposed to illuminate all those lotus light lamps? Leo lotus lamps. Launch. Hmm. Yeah, I'm supposed to... Get that, and then... Yeah, this does not entirely make sense. Okay, plunge and... Well, let's see. Oh, no. That's not good. It's not good. This platform mod I can move with adeptal energy or... Oh, no. What I need to do... 
to go over to the other side, the other shore. And then... It is that simulacrum, not only for a challenge, but also... Yep. To put down a golden cart pearl, I can just hop across. <laughs> there we are, there we are. Challenge chart location, time gained after each kill. Oh no, that was just a jumpy one. Okay, fine. Hi. Cut that. Let's just jump. Go up inside. Updraft. Okay, well. And most lines, let's be smart about this. Okay. Thank you. Ganyu is back in a big way. Cool. Common chest. Fine by me. Okay. Hmm. How much more do I have to deal with? How much more is there to deal with over here? Because we got that challenge with the Stonewall Lava Churl, but clearly what I thought would give me an easy way to solve that was not, in fact, an easy way to solve that. I was wholly misunder misinformed. Misunderformed. What? Misuninformed? I don't even know who she is. Okay. Come on, come on. <laughs> Up here. I'll receive berries. Berries. <laughs> it's up there. Oh, he watch her up there. Primary. <laughs> Gone, you snipe fodder. Can we go for the headshot? Let's see. Come on. There we go. There we go. Sometimes I'm good at this game. Sometimes. Oh, there's a ceiling there. Interesting. Hi. Oh, okay. Do that too. Come on. And just stay still and taunt me. Makes my life easier. And you, you, you are going up there now. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. And dodge out of the way, so, well, that hewed closer to the ground than I expected it to, quite frankly. Okay. Shoot that. How much of the camp do I need to destroy? Get that. Oh, and there's a club just on the ground. Okay. That will. That chest there. Nice. I'm wondering if breaking any of the stuff might have something to do with it. Oh, so. It's making these platforms move, so I forget what I did on the other side, but that's what was going on. It was making these platforms move and sync up. So I do remember that this is one of the platforms that I got a cutscene for some time ago. Oh my goodness, I'll need to actually check old footage to figure out exactly what was going on. Alright, alright. There's this over this way. Gotta wonder what it is, though. Specifically. Specificamente. Oh, and it's one of these, but... Okay, and... There we go. Oh, but clearly it was... Doing like this to get inside the draft. Okay. Should hopefully move the other one over now. Let's see. Why is it going over here, though? What is it doing over here? Hmm. Quite strange. It's gonna all align at the end for some heretofore unknown design and purpose. Okay, so there's another Sealy, but. Oh, by that Shuanjo beast. Okay, cool. Nice, and. That didn't do it. Okay. In that case, all I can really do is put. Shincha back in the party very briefly? Yeah. Go for that. Cool. Nice. Amadare Ishiomu. Amadare Ishiomu guts. Up top. We're gonna freeze this bad boy. Hi. Kasim, Kasim, Tokso, and Konogi, Wakarukai, and 
Hi, wait, what? I didn't do it. Okay, cool. And there we go. Plunge again, and well, that worked. Oh, and it didn't drop anything, which is basically pure confirmation that it's quest related. Okay, cool. Nice. Well, objective related. We'll open that chest, and whatever happens in the end, I guess, get our answer. Oh, there was another one. Oh, please. Didn't expect that. Come on, come on. Now you're... Okay, cool. And... Oh, wow. Zhao? Nothing Zhao? Kidding, kidding. Oh, please. Out of my way. Do not block my way. Well, and it... Don't even know if I could headshot that thing. Well, whatever. And what's left now? Okay, cool. Nice. Go back. No space left. In oh, so it would have actually gone straight in my inventory if it hadn't been full. But because of that, everything spilled out. Okay. Okay. Fine. Do this again. Right. Oh, nice. 15. Okay. So before, Navi was just using an archaic Petra set that I had take from Ningguang. She's still using the off-piece goblet. And now it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen now. Oh, now that there's one of those in there now. Interesting. What is this going to do? Oh, now they're all... Are they gonna disappear or are they just moving to other places? This is... strange. Is there something up in the sky that must be taking me somewhere. Just down below, or... What's gonna happen? Ah, huh, well... Okay. Weird. Hmm. Okay, a... Updraft? Another updraft? It's supposed to be like a carp ascending a mountain, or... Another one, and... Oh, it just keeps on going up until... Oh, wow. I do like that it's... Even though the carp can go in any direction it likes, it's dipping and leaping as if it was actually connected to... Oh, and it vaults over that. The carp leaps, heaven's gates open. That was cool. Witness the golden carp leap into the valley. Okay. So that was just a hidden little thing to do. That's cool. There's another carp. Let's put a carp in here. Hmm. Let's get that right now. In an opportune moment. Actually, hmm. what is in here, and how am I supposed to get inside? I feel like any of these could end up containing that last piece of jade I need, so... There's a ceiling. Scorch notes. Now it's closed. Investigate. Open tower gates. Four, three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> okay. Four, three, two, one. Okay, well, nothing left there. No more carp. I think she had some defenses. Four, three, two, one. Okay. So one of them was a trap, and the other one wasn't, and that's the entirety of it. Okay. Cool. Steely out here. Oh, and another one of another one of those kind of things. Okay. I understand. Maybe. Hmm. Well, that one's gonna be over this way then. Let's move that down. It seems. What will that? What will that do? 
which just in seven seconds had to move that down in advance then. Now I see. Anything up in the sky or do I have to Clearly it's gonna choose on map. Oh, oh, what? Orders from above, a date has been set for the return within the walls, seal the remaining supplies and equipment. Hint of an emergency record in this image. So the key. Oh, so the key must be somewhere around here then. Oh, so maybe that's that base camp mentioned before. Mm -hmm. It's sort of in an arc from the jade part. One, two, three, four. Kind of like a check mark shape. One, two, three, four. It's around here then, maybe. Oh, good, good that I have that map. Ancient city key to open the gate. Absurd key warehouse somewhere along the Chijong wall. Oh, so it's like. Oh, this is all the Qijong wall. It's it's a Great Wall of China kind of thing. Ah, now I understand. Now I see. Must apologize. I wasn't familiar with your game. Let's just use that to go up top, and so we need to get up in the sky to make it come back. Now I see. Now I see. Now you go back down. All right. Mm -hmm. That is very cool. Jade Hall Guide, right? No, we didn't get anything that really still silly. Okay. The treasure, more adventure mechanisms, and then a lot of mechanisms here, are really. And then, of course, Rain Jade. That was. No, this is the other side of it. It's a different side from the beast. Let's go back. Okay. Come on, wizard. Get my inventory. Let's go and. Is the ceiling gonna be here or. That is another tower, so. To put that out or. I think it's just coming back normally. This tower seems pretty. Nondescript. Okay. Maybe I have to. Maybe I do have to put out the put out the torches. Maybe. Let me see. Yeah, but I could possibly open that all up. Weren't any obvious mechanisms, at least on the inside. That said. Who knows about the outside? Could easily be something there. Maybe a rock out of place. Who knows? Oh, come on. Just see. Oh, you know, do what you like. Oh, and there was another Stella over there. Oh, I think it goes up and it might open that chest along the way. Okay. Should've known. Should've guessed. There we are, okay. Let's get that, and now it's gonna go back to... Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, it went to that bead. Okay, cool. And just like that, resonate, and send one up in the sky once it stops moving. There we go. I do like how they had, had us use it that way. And get inside that. Let's go back over there. We will be able to open up that chest. Cool. I need that other piece of jade. Vision and also the rest of the wall. Hmm. It's the storehouse over there. All those are because uh, they haven't really done it since, but when the Thunder Sojourn event first came out with the Inazuma, and there were a few open world mechanisms that were inaccessible during the event, so they've been re replaced with event-oriented mechanisms.
So I'm staying vigilant and diligent. It's like being vigilant and diligent. Okay. Huh. So that was not how I needed to do that mechanism. In that case, what is the way? No, I am simply more confused. Hmm. Well, okay. Put that down there, we can. Can we get both? I don't think we can. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Gotta be kidding me. You have yet to be kidding me. How far away can I grab that thing from? Okay. Grab it from here. Jump over and plunge in. Let's see how fast I can be with this. Get that and... Oh, please. Oh, I screwed up. Need to put it farther over. Ugh. Very queerly, it seems. Cool is to put it over there at first. Retrieve it as quickly as possible. From much of a distance as possible. Grab it and... That's good. Jump, over plunge, and... See if I oh, you have got to be kidding me. That was some garbage. Now it's gone. Okay. Maybe I should just get someone who can speed across the water. Might be the better idea. Mm -hmm. Of course we can get this. Can't do it. That mm -hmm. barely did not do it. Okay. Get over, aim that jump as well as we can. And plunge down and... Oh, go to hell. <sighs> I need to practice this jump. Hmm. So at what point do I want to just... Because I can't just use your E. It would honestly make it easier. Okay, well, whatever. Whatever. Huh. Seem to be able to retrieve it and then quickly get over. This is hurting my soul. That distance is not as easy as I would have liked. Okay, nice. Plunge and one, two, three, and that do it. It did do it. We got, oh no, but what you need to. Oh, actually, when you get one, it moves the other one over. So in order to get it, we need to, oh, God forbid. So now that's there. What's happening now? Oh, and it moves the platform over so that you can finish everything by if I just tried it the other way, it would have all worked out, but alas. Wait. So now. Is that. Okay, there we go. There are two now? That can't be right. It's gotta be a glitch. Because it must have placed another one down under the expectation that it would stay in our inventory. It would just remove it and. Let's actually briefly quit and relog to see if it solves the problem. Okay. Wait, I did the wrong thing. Okay, so that did solve the problem, and now the only one that's there is the one that's supposed to be there. Cool. Okay. Well, that's done. It's not my problem anymore. One way or the other. 
Stupid, stupid lotus lamp puzzle. Okay. In that case, how much more? How much more? This part over here, then this part over here, and then I guess I can try that carp thing again to see what's up. And there was this one little bit over this way. The key. The key. I wonder if the key is going to be the other jade fragment, or if it's just going to be the key to that storehouse. Maybe the jade fragment is inside one of the chests in that storehouse. Maybe. Geo particles within 120 seconds, and what are you doing? Come on. Oh, please. Come on. Out of my way. You die, die, die. Okay. There we go. So what's next? That. And, uh, that might be worrisome. Where do I send this in order to get all those? It's gonna, oh, you go up top and then you can glide down in a circle. Kinda. Come on, 12 Geo Particles, don't fail me now. Hmm. Shoot off over in that direction and... Yeah, this works fine. Okay. Gotta be kidding me. Gotta be kidding me. Okay. You've dogged to be kidding me. Hmm. Let's see how many we can get. This. Oh, please. Okay, now I can just jump straight for the last one. Okay, cool. Kinda worked. Oh, it did work. Just somewhat clumsily. Uma. In that case, how much? This over here, nothing really, though. Hmm. Crab. Time for crab. Mm -hmm. Okay. Already did some of that over there, that puzzle over on this side. I think we got this little bit. Yeah, I don't think we did. Okay, and let's return to this part over here. Let's see what happens. Yep, here we got that. Goofy tea kettle. Oh, there was a, another thing of miasma over there. Okay, well, we'll deal with that eventually. But like with the weathering zone, just because you eliminate the cause does not mean... They all instantly go away. That would make things too easily and probably deprive you of rewards. So actually, I'm fine with that. Okay. Is the carp up there? I don't see anything up there. Come on, come on. That is... Wait. Oh, maybe we're supposed to put down another? Well, whatever. And if we go up in the sky, but I don't see anything to really do any of that with. Okay, well, that's nice and high up. It's all pretty. It's more of Chujang wall over there, but there was a carp. I must have already gotten it. If there was anything there. I must have already gotten it. Maybe it was just supposed to be for that little particle collection challenge. I don't know. None of us know. Be lost with the sands of time. Okay. Come on, come on. So that's over there. I'll have to deal with that eventually. Shun Yun is at frighteningly low health, but it shouldn't matter because I should be able to get her healing up pretty quickly once she does anything of note. Well. You know, honestly, honestly, actually freezing them has not been all that manageable. We're just gonna do all of this then. Okay, cool, and... Super Becky Disney, and... Ice, come on, and... Just like that. That's doing a good job by itself already. Come on. And plunge. Smack that, and... She and Joe Beast cooperating with Halo Churls. wonder what the lore implications of that might be, if any. 
Let me actually check the archive real quickly. So their description is real quick. Living beings, elemental life forms. Do they count as they were not elemental life forms? They would be mystical beasts. That would be Shionjo beasts, Sean Wen beasts, and the solitary swami. It's the it's a Shionjo. Dark patterns on their bodies. Nose, chunny veils, serpents of Daptus, vanquishing evil, passed away. Before I detonate. Well, that would be. Wengiwan. Aggressive creatures, amount of territory, human encroachment, remote mountains of Chenyu Vale. Okay, cool. So I guess Ganyu stays until we actually need to put some hydro on a monument or something. Hmm. Tragic. Poor Xing Chao. Oh, well, he had his time to shine and squandered it. Oh well, that's life. And grab up top, and oh, more of you. Hello. Hi. Interesting. Oh, three, three, okay, cool. And let's just that then, and try this. Let's see that side. Come on, and that. And let's just see. Oh, wow. That already did it. This makes sense, the combining. Gone you with Shen, how it do a really good job. Never notice the wind around there. In a burst field. Never had a good enough computer while I was still actively using Ganyu beforehand. Another spirit card, and how many do we have now? We have 32. Okay. Hmm. How many more do we Bless you! How many more do we need? We need 18 more. Resonate and the others go. Well, whatever. Let's grab this. We have a bit of mint. Would be purple for the stone over there. If I didn't know better, I would think that indicated something abyssal. That is a little bit more. A little bit more jade. Again, don't really need it anymore, but fine. Okay, grab that and... It's a little bit over here now. I'm gonna see over by the mountain. Over here, maybe. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Much more. As the combined amount of, well, I guess, initial altitude factor of the mountain might counteract some of that. But. <sighs> the mountain seems to have a bit. This combined area seems smaller even than the upper veil, actually. It's interesting. Even in combination. Let's just go back a little. Check the sides of the mountain, maybe. So we're stopping around here. It is a little bit left. Okay, that ledge, that ridge is nothing of note. I do wonder. Let's just go up here then. Hi, Celestia. How are you doing? All these bloody floaties. Hi. Shoot. Shoot. Oh goodness. Shoot. Okay. Oh. Ooh, okay. There we go. And we got a bit of that. Excuse me, Takuda. What is she? This name. Beautiful treasure. I am happy. Kankesho. Well, you are not my problem right now. That said, shoot over there. We can get a bit of. Energy back, thanks to having gone you see one. Wow. First time that was actually kind of useful. Okay. So I really do just use her for her burst. Hmm. I really do wonder what that figure of light, that 
semicircle. Yeah. Frankly, it reminds me of Elden Ring. Though, to be fair, most things do. Let's keep on going. Over here, plunge down. Get a bit of wood yeah. from that, if I can actually hit the darn thing. Come on, come on. Well, whatever. I guess only the plunge did it, because it hit it inside the mountain. It had to clip inside a little to make it, maybe. That is more than a little strange. Hmm. Well, all right. Okay. Let's see a bit about Harvest Stoke. I'm over there. That. Get up top, and... No fall damage. That was nice. Now we can crawl our way to the top of the mountain, get a little smashed stone, and some pyro slimes. Okay, cool. Nice. And... Come on, come on. Oh, and they didn't even explode. Dealt enough to actually negate their pyro aura. Cool. In that case, keep going down over this way and see what else pops up. Oh boy. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have got to be kidding me. Yep. I need to lose that habit. I need to forget that word. Incredibly cursed. Incredibly cursed. Let's see over this way. Oh! Oh, yep. I already dealt with that. So that. Oh, all of those platforms are entirely gone now. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I could maybe clip that. I think it was decently interesting. Okay. So got that this general area. I'm wondering where I go next. Maybe I'll just go around the rest of the coastline? Maybe. And that would allow me to sort of go around into here, maybe. Explore that, then fight the Swanee. Sure. I could see that working. So I would like to fight it again, eventually. You know, if there's a boss in the area, I do like to actually give it a a little go. Hmm. A few caves in here do kind of counteract the somewhat reduced size in this area. Somewhat. Okay. Let's go down here then. Coming. This. Location within 70 seconds. Okay, so it's going to be more jumping, possibly? Wait. Location. Where's the next target location? Oh, it's these. Oh, and you can see the next one as it rises out of the ground. Oh, and they gradually sink. Gradually sinking. Ah, okay. Hmm. Those are moving. Are the others going to move too? Or just glide the rest of the way without a problem? that it or wait oh it just sends us back is that it okay it is it okay that unlocks this is a flighty sock room not that we really needed much out of it at this point okay hmm. and just that and that's gone no more oh hi hit hit oh Okay, another. And I missed because you were on the ground, but you weren't on the ground, but anything gonna happen when we actually get all these through? Oh, well. Since I didn't hit with the other one, it didn't actually negate its pyro. Okay, there we go, and nothing showed up, but it's good. We're all good now. Come on, come on, come on. And this over... Oh, what? Hello? Check. Geo Bishop dug out from under the rocks. 
Illusory Rock. That's new. Entirely new to me. Okay, please. Out of my way, out of my way, out of my way. And that's just freeze. Oh, okay, well. I needed one of those. Cool. Excel Splower. Being able to melt does help things. Oh, maybe we have to get all these swords. Check and Red Horned Lizard. Never are these swords buried in the ground around this area. That was interesting and surprising. Okay. Oh, and actually, I didn't see it, but another large pyro slime showed up, which leads me to assume that it's going to make a chest appear once I've killed it. Hi. Yep, there we go. Cool. I do like little things appearing like that. And just interact with a bunch of things which normally wouldn't get noticed and get a reward. Check and Geo Crystal Fly. Just interact with the sword hilt. It's yep. kind of like the sword hilt's in. Oh, inscription. Inazuma. Usually it was just about fearsome tea, multiplying demons. She wants to drink, casting inside to suppress the evil spirits. Pity that this vertal summer scene cannot be shared with friends. Hmm. Let's pour. There we are. And quietly passing a time pouring into the bottom. There we are. Okay. Boyd. okay. Simple enough. Same as before. <laughs> Yushi. Just make me wonder what kind of connection that might have to other characters. I know there's some speculation that echoes an offering referred to Madame Ping before it was either revealed to not have anything to do with her and instead refer to Fujin or maybe was retconned. Who knows at this point. That's over there, a couple of Shionjo beasts. Okay. It's a bit more over here though. Two teleport waypoints comically close to one another. Good decisions everywhere. Okay. Let's sip, and we can walk in the water here. Even though it still wets us. Yep, and we already interacted with that simulacrum puzzle, so it's some gates appear when we pass through them in a specific order. You cannot escape this. It's interesting that they changed the way the warp gates work so that you couldn't just escape them early. It's in Fontaine and in. To change that in Fontaine, because the ones in. Actually, the ones in Fontaine were you turned into the Abyss versions you could escape from early. But the Elephant style ones you couldn't. Such drastic changes. Waters and soil of this land. Quest before. I what's their holes? Do the Scarlet be number three? Order nine enclosures. Jade may then be offered. Enclosures. Nine enclosures offered to him. So in that case, yep, there was just there are ten of those total then. Interesting. Well, I did this puzzle is one of the first things I ever did in Chenny Vale actually. Snake, Jade may then be offered preparation of a vote of Rain Jade to me. I do wonder to what extent they have their own personalities and maybe consciousness. Because I can't tell whether they're just recording things other people have said previously or offering up their own information. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. Hmm. Come on, come on. Over there and... 
over there. <laughs> well, nothing as of yet. Let's not continue along this part of the coastline. Oh, we're actually up to that part already. Okay. Reaches this sort of tip of Upper Vale, then. I guess it's time to go in the cave over here. So if Wong Kong ground, this is actually pretty. Kind of separated over there. Okay. Hmm. Golden carp, you can go anywhere you please. What about places that displease me? Uh, Alright. Go around a bit more. Oh, and... <laughs> Oh, one of those puzzles. Oh, no, that's literally just the other piece of jade. I'm stupid. So actually, right, it is by Mount Lysian. There we are, left. Lingering, join the jade fragments together. The same stone. I just thought that was actually a puzzle. And it wasn't, so I can just go to the wall now, I think. So it was close to Elijah, and it was just close in a different way than I originally expected. Okay, well. Oh, Hajime Mosh Senshi, crybaby bam. I'm just doing a bit of exploration of Chenyu Vale right now. And I just found the other piece of the jade that I'm pretty sure unlocks. Oh my goodness, Kirby emote. You have no idea how much I love Kirby. I have had Kirby... I've had the background art of Kirby and Forgotten Land, box art, box art, as my phone background for a while now, at least a year. You might, you might. Prove it, prove it. But either way, I'm excited for, I am excited for the yearly Kirby game. Yeah, there's one every year. Oh, okay, I can't beat that, I can't beat that. It's a level of dedication that I can't match. But, as I was saying, what kind? Is it just a standard Kirby? Is it normal Kirby? Or is it an ability Kirby? Is it a scene, even? But, I still haven't beaten Return to Dreamland Remake's Extra Mode. I feel like I should stream that eventually. Does that would allow me to do True Arena, too? Oh, nice. That's cool. That's really cool, either way. I'm happy to hear that. Let me check. Okay, Jade Fragment, Adaptable Energy Lingering. So where would it join? Same stone, join the Jade Fragments together. So do I join it by going over here? It's cool, it's some kind of... Jade Pendant, Adaptable Energy, Elijah, and the Floating Jade. Activation Mechanism, Critical Component, Missing Piece. Could this be it? Let's see. Let's see. What's gonna happen now? Oh. Cutscene? Oh, huge. wonder what's going to happen now. Oh, so it just keeps floating. It doesn't really actually physically connect. It just floats together. What's going to happen now? Oh, so it's like the jade portal at the top of Chuan. I'm just going to have to teleport into it. It doesn't even pull me to it. It just... Where am I now? Huh? Oh, it's the area I was in before, but is... Wait, no, this is not a place I've been in before. Wait, it says I'm in Hong Kong, but... Oh, okay. Use some moss, adapt the energy, get rid of that moss, the mural veil. What is this going to tell me? A ruined tale? Okay, finding all of them. But just... The art is very similar to the murals in Surumi and in Dragon Spine, but... And I've guessed that Fujin was maybe adeptal in nature. Mystery left behind by the Ancestor, witnessed four murals. Yeah, there... There was a lot, and I'm kind of surprised at how many loose ends there are even after the quest. Because the Spirit Carp collection is, in its own kind of way, just a continuation of the Chiwon Terrace quest. I mean, the... Offering the Sunken Jade quest. It's kind of crazy, honestly. So we can activate this. It's going to send us back. Oh, but there was another record over there. So where's the outlet going to be? Oh, well, one of those. Oh, but just breaks open that part over there. 
Okay, I was wondering, because there was a very suspicious cliff face here earlier, what it was going to be, and it was just access to the tunnel underneath. But the storeroom is apparently going to be different. It's going to be another little objective then. Because of the Ancestors 3 who live in Chenu, whose hearts are on the mountains, whose wander in time and world alike. The only depths known in the heavens, I think upon your beauty and weep. There's a pass for us into weather my garments. Upon this wall shall I paint that it may be lasting testament. Okay. So all it really tells us is that Chen Yu had a connection to Celestia, which I guess it's worth reiterating because not everyone has Sacrificial Jade from the Battle Pass, but still, part of me expected a bit more. Okay, because looking here and... Yeah, regress into tribes, carving jade, messengers of the messengers of Celestia. Yeah, Let's see ancient god perish in foreign lands. Oh, foreign lands. That's not something they mentioned in the quest. Forgot about that part. Wait, maybe they just meant leeway. But either way, it's interesting. Yeah, so that's a yulong jade. Okay, well, huh. Well, one way or another, that part is done, so we can go back to Hong Kong and fight the Swanee again, look for more carp, see how that ends up working out. All right, all right. How are you doing just in general? Forgot to ask. Try to ask, but... Because hopefully I should be finding gainful employment soon, which... Well, sadly, maybe make it a bit harder for me to find stream time, but, but, it would almost certainly mean a model upgrade, which would be nice. Could really take things to the next level in a number of ways. Let's just check in the tunnel over here. Because I've been thinking about possible designs for a while. It's just been about... Finding an artist, finding the resources, financial and otherwise. Oh goodness, did not mean to get hit. Come on, come on. Let's keep on going. Ah, I just I guess I just can't spray fast enough. Let's keep on going. So that did hit with both arrows. Okay. Let's go over this way. Knock a crate open and beat up those heliotrols. Okay. So we're out of this side over this way, and this was less, but we can see a bit of jade mouth over there. Okay, cool. Go back. Go back. Fight the Swanee. Everyone's got their burst recharge, so this should be good. Should be able to melt, straight up melt a good number of the bursts, which would be nice. Be very nice. Okay, but... Around this way, there is that chest guarded a cup by a couple of those Shuanwen beasts. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let's try this out. Oh, goodness. Okay. Luckily, most of them can be vaporized, so let's try this out. So all this works. Come on, and it's like that, and so many particles we get from this. This is decent. Okay. Wait for another one. Should be good. Okay, there we go. And we got our burst back too, which means when we fight the Swanee, we should be able to just spam burst right away and then plunge away with a bit of pyro. We'll see. Of course, the ideal team to use with Gaming is Furina, Xion Yun, Bennett, and then him, of course, you know. You can't have a Gaming team unless Gaming is on it. Unless there's some new logical puzzle that I need to hear about. Okay. I do wonder if anyone else will ever use Clearwater Jade. So right now it's just Xion Yun. Maybe if they introduce another Lele character associated with Chen Yu eventually, I could see that. That's just one area. We never really got any characters specifically associated with Chasm, so... I don't know. Either way, I do find it interesting that they have... 
little particle puzzle, well, particle challenge like this in the arena. It's been a while since they've, since they've had anything going on in a boss arena. Last time I remember, actually, was Iniquitous Baptist over in Girdle of the Sands, and Gavri and Lajavard specifically had not only some chests and some smashed stones around in one of those plumes of light for the Pari puzzles, but it also had also had one of those music discs over here. Let's actually got that over there, so I think I'll just fight the Swanee again. There honestly is just not enough information to determine whether Linguan from the quest is this specific Swanee, albeit in a named state, or whether they are just at least two Swannies around here. What can you say? Maybe, maybe it adds to the mystery. Maybe. Who knows? Let's just go back and over and see what happens. Okay, okay. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Just a sec. Okay. Check something real quick. Come up. I do you want to see if there's anything around this area over here? Because uh, actually the best way to do that would be teleporting over this way. Checking out what's down over here. Hmm. Alright, alright. Hmm. Okay. Well, well, well. Gotta be kidding me. That bit of water over there and... Is that a snapdragon? Probably. I really do have to wonder... What will eventually be in this area over here? It would be really funny if it was a dormant port. So I'd have to find some way to explain how goods can get down from there. But I think it'd be more over this way. Sort of... Avoiding Storm Terror's Lair, because people don't go there. It'd be weird to have a port on the other side without a road to really take you around. That said, I can maybe see... There's this gate over here that doesn't lead to anything. It's all blocked off. I could see them adding... A bit of an easement over there, or a tunnel. When they eventually fill out that area of Mondstadt, because they will. I swear on me, mom. Okay, so Cryo. Cryo is good against them. Hi. Okay, cool. cool. Let's try this out and just plunge. Plunge. Just get that and see so if this works. Oh, that's good damage. Come on, just plunge it and. Oh, come on. That and. Time, one more time, and oh, let's see. How do we need to? Oh, we could just hit with Gone, you know? Cool. And throw, freeze, and now you're broken down. Good stuff. Okay, nice. That and. Plunge, and then hit with Gone a few times. Yeah. So all these can do. That's actually quite good. Okay, cool. Keep hitting, and now that's no longer downed, it has a lot more. Resistance to everything. Come on, come on, and just... Okay, out of my way, out of my way. You can't freeze yourself while that's happening, so it's more of a cleanse than anything else. Okay, cool. Out of the way of that. One more, and this should do it. Goodbye! Okay, thanks. Don't need any rewards from that, but... Just another swanee fight for those interested. Okay. So in that case... What else is there to get in the southern mountain? I guess it's a bit more of the mountainous part over here then, and then also it's one Mountain and Yadie Valley. I think actually what I'll do first is go down around Swanwion and get things on the lower level. So I do actually like to go up. 
start at the bottom and go up. Mm. Another quick bathroom break. I am drinking way too much water. Eh, eh, I don't know. I'll be right back.
All right. Hmm. Okay. There's another carp up there. Let's see how we can get it. All right then. Yeah. Try this out. This works. Hello, hello. In that case, let's keep on going. Keep on going. Okay, so there's one of those jumpy ones. Let's see if we can... Ah, okay. So we just put that up there. And that will pull us the car once we... There we go. Grab another one. How many do we have again? Because we haven't turned in any yet. So, 33 out of 50. 70 more. I mean, 17 more. Ugh. Can't math. At least not today. Yeah. I wonder what the what the me who was doing calculus back in the day would think now. Probably, probably completely ashamed. Like commit seppuku. Okay. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Okay. Okay. Oh. Ah. Move my chair for it a little bit. A little scooch. Okay. Look around. Satisfy my hoarding instinct. More of that. Yep. A little bit of spirit tear. I forget what it was called. Whatever I had to do to condense. Just pearls. Okay. Pearl of great price? Hmm. How do I get up there? Do I have to. Oh, maybe if I use the. Simulacrum back from before, I could. Maybe. Jet to the top of that little mountain. I can see that. And if you use the last one before it pulls out. Okay. And go for a 45 degree angle. Sure. Let's see if I can jet to the top. Okay. Actually, if I wanted to really want to do that, the best way to do it would be to go down from. Let's go down from Mount Aujong, but. In Elkong. Aujong? Aujong? No, it was Aujong in an earlier version of the localization. That's how it was spelled. But, frankly, I don't know if either of those can be taken as real signs of what it's quote unquote supposed to be. By the way, we're over on this part of Shlongan now, so. Let's see if there's anything actually up here. Oh! Another ancient swordsman inscription. So it looks like the other Guha sword too. A pound a sword, one that sends on high, using out to land to land so far. Oh Skyrider maybe? It was like jewels down the hills and the deep vales high jade pools. Hmm. Returning to find no further path, day and night there was a weeping. Hmm, common chest. How many artifacts do we? Yep, so we had better. Just in case. I think it would actually work. I don't want that stuff spilling out. I think I'm checking. Good thing I'm checking. Okay. Against that. It's just got the sands up too. Good old Navia. Okay. A bit more. A little bit more. And we can get some of that back, but we're not gonna level that up immediately. Okay. Cool. No, not like that. Not like that. Okay. I wonder what achievement we'll get for getting all these. Hopefully there will be one. Skasoda. Oh, and there was one up there. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Did that and non-geo particles within 40 seconds. Hmm. Well, in that case. That case. I get that. And then actually. Probably oh! Did we? There we got it. Okay. Go down and we can put ourselves in position to gravel back that way. There we go. Cool. And it was, okay, on one of the lower parts over here. Cool. And okay, let's straight in. That's good. 
85% now. Interesting. They're on this part of the pool. That waterfall with those tea kettles from before. Oh, and just a random other chest. Chingzin? No, no, Glaze Lily. Okay. I like how they brought those back in the new area, too. There were a couple of... No, but they were in pots. A couple of Joyo and Chilies before. Be collected. Hi. Okay. Let's just... Well, actually, what I should have done is... Done this. Scroll that and... Come on. Okay, you were actually too smart to fall for that. I couldn't just taunt you like that, sadly. Come on, come on. And dash again. One more should do it. There we go, goodbye. No chest, it seems, but... Okay, so Gani was actually okay in dealing with that. Actually came as a bit of a surprise, although not an unpleasant one. Mm -hmm. That case... Top. Top, still nothing. Still nothing. And then those two things, and then one over in the real big mountain. So this small one, this small one, and the big mountain. So, okay, this is Mount Zwanwion. Those are just smaller unnamed peaks. Okay. Hmm. So maybe I'll go around this way, circle around this, and get around the water, and then... Double back to the mountain afterwards. We'll see. Hmm. I want to wait for this to recharge a little so I can go back up to the other side. Oh, nice! Hill Patrol guy. To... Okay. Okay, another time trial challenge, though. Okay. But I was, I was up there already, yeah. Boars, boars, boars. I simply adore boars. That's not right. That's not what the guy in Pokemon said. Geo particles, 50 seconds. Oh, so we're basically climbing up the carp. Cool. Nice. And, oh, please. Please. Go over. Can I? Oh, I'm, I'm stupid. You had to... It's one of those things. You had to activate that. Now we'll go in a circle, and we can... Drop us in the middle, we can plunge down the rest of the way. It's so hard for me sometimes to tell the difference. Okay. Bad eyes, stress, outright stupidity. The world may never know. Ah. Come on, come on, come on. You've got to be kidding me. Hmm. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Okay. Cool. Okay. That case. That case. That one's over there, but I don't want to circle around them. Maybe I stay around the water part and then go back to the mound. Maybe I'll... When should I teleport back here to get this part? Is this a cave or not? That was a cave, it was just a tiny one. There was the special water for the spirit scent flower there, too. Okay. It's over there, and I think, is that one of those fossils? No, it's just a regular white iron chunk ore deposits. Okay, well. Eventually, I will need to craft more weapons, so that's fine. Let's just see. Resonate and how many can I place? Okay, place three actually. One, two. Oh, that didn't work. Let's see. That also did not work. Well, whatever. In that case, let's jump. Let's jump. Use that for just actual traversal once I'm done with that, maybe. Probably don't. Oh, to get up top there at that part of the mountain then. Hi, okay. One, two, there we go. Okay, that's back. Okay, let's get this chest then. There we go. I think that one over there might be the last thing of miasma. 
Can't be entirely sure, but it sounds partially correct. Huh. Let's go back down, down, okay. Over that way. Interesting. Nothing really seems to be over there, but except for, of course, the miasmic stuff. Hmm. Yeah, those are just random boards without any real significance. Hi! Try me off size. Frozen. Frozen. Okay, cool. And one more, one more. We'll do it, and... Deftal energy to purify it, and who is left? You are left. Oh! Now it's spawning in blooms all of a sudden. That's funny. Okay, one more, one more. And... Now I can get that. Bye, and... Oh, a Frost Storm Wawa Troll? Oh, that's kind of crazy, actually. Come on, come on. And just under over there, maybe, and... Still all our kitten. Okay, so what... Did it melt and vaporize, or...? Let's just... Oh, please, please. Come on, come Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What, what, how did that... How did that stop me? That is... Nonsense. Okay, whatever. Let's just keep... Okay, Frozen can do it, too. If it's Frozen, I can also just knock it down by using that. Oh, come on, come on, and... There we go. So now you're gone. Let's just actually... Now I can freeze you. And just normally... Hit you. Come on, come on. Gandhi can handle this, then. Well, actually, right, I can just do that, then. Give you some plumes, too, to do even more damage. And they'll get used up somewhat quickly, but the crit should. There we go. You know, I may as well use Shen Head of Buff Ganyu. Honestly, I've become so focused on rotations that I keep forgetting what characters' kits actually do. Yeah, let's just... All I remember is, okay, I need to use Shen Head now. Without remembering, okay, I use Shen Head now because she increases... Cryo damage with a flat damage additional bonus. Well, that's done. But what I wonder is, is it didn't happen to the other ones, but whether more enemies will spawn in here now that Miasma's gone. Well, whatever. So it didn't really happen in Yaudia Valley. Let's just continue along this way, but just let me check real quick. Any other spawn back in? Because in Sumeru, Withering Zones, more would spawn in. Oh, and yep, they do actually. Okay. A couple of Pyro Whopper flowers. So I guess it just takes time. Real in-game time. Okay, well, let's just put that there then. Not exactly the marker I usually like to use, but whatever. Hi. Okay, come on. Nope. Just out of my way like that. Hi. Oh, come on. Please, please. Multiple enemies hit and hit. Oh, well. The melt actually helped. Melt actually helps. Uh, nothing really, really is relevant there. It's... Not like there were enemies I particularly needed to farm or anything like that, but there I go, and now I know. Okay. Back up top to Shizhong Wall. Nothing really there. I'll come back around this way eventually. Okay. Let's heal up real quick. How far away do I need to get before the enemies show up again? Let's just teleport to... The farthest imaginable point that I can immediately teleport to, which actually maybe Surumi would be a little farther away, but it shouldn't make a difference. Either way, it's gotta got to completely unload by now. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see. Hmm. 
Alright, alright. Just gonna... Teleport back then. Okay, cool. Fontaine. Not Fontaine. Leeway. Pfft, I'm stupid. Okay. So, well, teleport back here. I need this little area around this part. Got a bit over here. I miss this music so much. Love this song. Mostly the weeb in me, but honest to god, I... <sighs> yeah. Inazuma's atmosphere remains unmatched to me. It's still my favorite. Oh, and... Oh, so you can't entirely rotate it. It's never been relevant, so I hadn't noticed. Okay. That's interesting. Is there going to be anything on top of... This secondary waterfall. That's oh goodness. Well, I got kind of stuck. It's over here. It's over this way. You have got to be kidding me. Hmm. Ooh. Other chests in this area, because. Frankly, when I get to the cities, they're going to be a bit harder to find, because they'll be on top of roofs and nestled under bridges and stuff. Because I'm pretty sure I saw one in Xiaoying when I was there at the end of Lan Lantern Rite, but I immediately forgot to actually get it as soon as I was done with that cutscene. don't even think it teleported me away, I just, just forgot. That attention span moment. Oh, hi! Hello! What are you up to? Well, whatever. Let's just... Kill you like that. Come on, come on. Good stuff. Okay. Yeah, the Ganyu! The additional damage on that from Ganyu is... Actually pretty nice. Okay. Come on. And just... Hit, hit. There we go. I should have been doing that from the start. Shenhe Ganyu's synergy is actually not that bad. Having waves, especially since... If you've built Ganyu capably at all, her... Crit damage is... Truly ludicrous. Ooh. Okay, another one down there. Is this... Okay, so this is a little cave I haven't been in before. Not really a cave in as much as a little alcove, but okay, I have been in here before. I went here for went here for jades. But Yep, because there's there is that little drop down over there. That's right. Cool. Come on, come on. Okay. Nice. Okay. Go over this way and go for a few hits. Come on, come on. Okay, cool. Ah, nice. Uh, okay. Keep on going. And... Ooh. Start challenge. Oh! Target location within 90 seconds. Where's that gonna leave me in the end? Okay. There. Oh, so it's basically escape the pit. So that's why the simulacrum was here. Okay, not that I really saw it, but... Now, where are we going to go? Hmm. Oh, it's just sending me back down. That's cool. Okay. So at the end, and... There we go. Precious chest. Bilpan, how do you can die? Bilpan? Hmm. 88%. The rest is just gonna be in this little... Not a little, but in this mountain area over here. Should have more than enough time. Tiny bit of tea tree slope, and... Yeah, but in the Northern Vale, in the Upper Vale, might take some time. That said, the only thing I'll really be doing next time is... Is 
aside from exploration, is abyss. And I... It shouldn't be too bad. It should take 30 minutes. Maybe 45 at most. Because... I've already tested out the teams I'll be using. Shouldn't be a problem getting them to work. Guess maybe that's a little... a little cheaty. I don't know. Come on, come on. And when should... When's it gonna refresh? Wait 13 hours after the 15th, on the 16th and later. Okay, okay. Cool. Let's keep on going. Try this out. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh, okay, there's more up here over this way. Oh, that just leads up to a bit of the wall as well as the transport over there. Okay. So I wonder if enemies will be back over there. Maybe, maybe not. Said that. Okay. Use that to get up top on there. So is there anything here or... There are two bird eggs, and that's it. Let's see what kind of... It'd be funny if this was Yume Miro. Won't be, though. Get sand bearer. Okay. Let's keep on going. A little bit of Yuan Jade over there with that pendant. Oh, that's interesting. The pendant itself glows, but the little... Little housings for the pendant. Well, the hairpin, the pouring hairpin don't glow themselves. Mm -mm. Which I suppose suggests that maybe in the code. That's uh, there are plenty of things that are changing interactable moving ob objects that don't show up under elemental sight. But it might possibly suggest that the code of the movement has nothing to do with the housing is entirely connected to the hairpin itself alone. Frankly, I can't say what that would actually change in a meaningful sense. The answer is frankly not much, but still. Yep. I guess that the positions are hard-coded. Instead of actively searching out areas that could be placed that are marked by the housings, which actually would probably be easier to code in and manage than coding in a specific interaction with the housing items. Just my two cents. Oh, so we could get a little splash in because she had entirely entered the water. Okay. More jades, again, not as if we actually really need them, but that's fine. Now that is more than fine. All right, all right. Hmm. Sec. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Just checking some things. It's all good now. It's all good now. Cool. Keep on going. Keep on going. Okay, we got a couple more things of wood. Useful for making those furnishings. That said, it's not... I would understand if they had actually made more furnishing sets. Okay, and now... Cryo slimes have come back. Interesting. Cool. Yeah. Come on, come on, and just... Oh, what? What? Okay. We froze and kept ascending. That is some amusing behavior. Hmm. Okay. So, yep, enemies did come back when we got far away enough. I don't actually think that time had anything to do with it, but we're good now. We're good now. Okay. Cool. Let's keep on 
go in and well, go around. There was that one hill trail over there, and I think I'll do the Shenha Ganyu combo to dispatch it. Cool. Two and one and yep. Hop over to the other shore. Nice. I haven't taken notice of me yet, so let's actually just come on. Oh goodness. We're there and that's hideo. Come on, come on. Yeah, that damage is really nice with Icy Quills up. So that was the end. Goodbye. Wow. Okay. Some other no chests or a chest I got and forgot about, but I forgot. But uh, other way, it's down and no longer a problem for us. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's keep on going. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. Send a lock room, place like. Thank you so much for your help. Let's see what you say. Marvels exist. Don't lie. Lotus gazing time. Let's see. There's tribulation, state of tranquility, drink deep in the beauty of the lotuses. Nice stuff. Let's go up top, but also. Punch oh, down. All this time, and I never actually thought to really use Ganyu and Shenha together. I feel. I feel like a fool. How much left? How much is left over here? Uh, huh. hmm. Okay, so there's something over here then. A little bit over there. Okay. Please, you've got to be kidding me. Come on, come on. Okay. Carrot, carrot, and... Let's see. Over this way. Okay. <laughs> Here. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chop down that little bush, I guess. <sighs> Found my way back up the mountain and. See what might be left. Apparently, and I found out about this very recently, there's actually an investigation point interaction limit for every given daily reset, which I have no idea about. Kind of wacky, actually. Mm -mm. Did I already get everything up there? I think I did. Down there is... Okay, there does not seem to be anything there. I don't think there was ever anything there, but I really don't know. Okay, come on. Come on. This way. And let's see. Sit down. Well, we already got the chest. We already placed the... Place the orb is there. Let's keep on looking. Continue our... Pointless search. Go back on top of... The peak here. Sweater is for me. Hi. Hello. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so clearly there must have been a spirit carp up here that I already got. It's been... So much time has passed, so many things have happened. It's like a dream. Like a dream. Okay. Oh, another smash stone is here. Snap that. 89% now. So not much has happened or changed in the meantime, then. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. So we could interact with this to climb up the side of the mountain, but there wasn't really any pressing reason to. That's... that's fine. That's okay. Come on. And now we're too far down. Hurts my soul. Hurts my soul. Okay, please. That's just... Okay, there we go. And I'm getting that. Now I would like to... 
around the other side to see if there's anything over there, maybe? It does not seem like there is. Okay. But lots of, lots of floating things here. Just in general. Uh, I guess it's plus right. But I do wonder what... Whether we'll actually get an explanation of what plus right is. It's probably what I'm waiting for if I read enough furniture descriptions, but I don't know. Whether plus right is connected to Celestia somehow, maybe. I could see that. No, I already went up there. Already went up there. Wait, what? Is there... What's up that way? It's something, I think. <laughs> okay. Up. Maybe I'm missing something else. I thought I saw one of those points up here that I didn't before. Let's see. Jump up and... Oh, oh, oh. Wait. Okay, clearly it was just another... Must have gotten that spirit carp already. Okay. Now the only thing left is going to be, well, there's that down there. Those pearls up top, but I'm through the mountain. Okay. Where else do I need to go? And the pit, the drop that leads down there is not actually really noted on the map, weirdly enough. Whoa. Okay. That said, I do want to check. Apple. Apple. Do I need to? Because I still haven't found a way to get in there. Do I need to grab everything else and leave the apple? Or is it precisely the opposite? I cannot tell. Let's go up here then. Hi. And just. Let's see. Come on. I should have done that without hitting an enemy, then. Didn't need to actually hit the enemy to get the quill buff up, yep. so then I would have been able to shoot them all and probably get them as well. Well, whatever. That's life. More of the beasts. You're kidding me. Okay. So, doing the, finding the beasts, which is Shenhen and Ganyu in concert, could actually work quite well. Okay, so take the pine cones, leave the apple. That did not do it. Sit. Well, take the apple, leave the pine cones. Take apple? This is getting weirder and weirder. Well, alright. I don't see anything on the other side, but. Spirit Carp somewhere, but how do I? Huh. This is more than a little disconcerting. So I guess maybe I'll go over to Tea Tree Slope. So that's a relatively self-contained area, because this entire little bit of mountain is going to be do that all together. Hmm. There is, all things considered, a lot of stuff. Huh. Well, no time like the present. Okay. Chilling and Yulong. This is Bishui. Bishui Plain. I guess it empties out into here, but. Hmm. Well. I have to wonder how they actually get things down there. There's so many waterfalls. I guess they have Sumter Beasts take things down to another port and then... I'm just trying to think what the merchant path would be. Yong Wharf, so down the river. Packing here. So they do have these little wharfs. Little docks over from here to here, and then overland the rest of the way. 
guess. I guess it would make sense why they're... Besides Stonegate, Dewall Marsh is kind of unguarded. There are a couple people living out there, but there are multiple watchtowers here. There are, yeah, there are three watchtowers along the way. If that was specifically a merchant route, that would make sense. I'm thinking about this way too much. Ha, ha, ha. So this side of Tea Tree and Leah the Coast for later? Sure. I already got the butterflies in here. I find it interesting that they were butterflies specifically. It implies that maybe Urborg might have had a butterfly aspect in addition to the already known snake aspect. Chongsheng is a snake with butterfly wings. That is interesting to think about, but very, very weird. Okay, so there was a viewpoint over there that I never grabbed. Very me. Okay. Come on, come on. It's just we're there, and let's see. Hmm. Okay. This would be... It's gonna be Chow Yanger. Oh, no! It's ancient fact. It's just the tree itself. Hard to tell until after you've actually gotten it. Okay. Liyue. Okay. Chihu. Lifeblood. Utmost vitality. Hmm. Upper Veil is the one thing undiscovered still. It's a bit larger, picks, picks its leaves, and makes some tea for all of you. How sad. How many more carp do we have now? Okay, still 17. We haven't gotten any more since. Yep, and just like that. Come on. Oh, what? That didn't work. Okay. That's fine. I guess. Okay. Please, 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 please. Oh, no. How is this trial going to work out? Okay, 22 within 55 seconds. That shouldn't really be much of anything. Oh, and another chest just randomly down there. Cool. That takes me into Yadier, actually. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Alright. What's up on that side of the mountain? Okay. Interesting. Rest is in a circular pattern over there. Hi! Chief Mount Adventurer to wait. Wait! And you can do it again? Just does another challenge? Oh, I have never had a monument that could be done multiple times. That. Now that's cool! Okay. Some things I feel like I could clip. An ascension that she meant my death. Maybe this? Eh, probably not. Come on, Yadie and I'm going. I've gotta be okay. Then we can do this. I wonder if we'll get another from that. Oh no, there was the one, the training mission with the Little, not Gula. And another one, okay. Another one. One that you can proc multiple times. There was, there was the ball puzzle that you could do multiple times in Fontaine over this way, but that just made the ball come back. You didn't have to spawn anything again, I'm pretty sure. I think. But at the very, very same time, there was also... Hmm. Wondering. There's the one very north of Liffy. Over here with the jellyfish ability. Over there, but even still. 24 within 80 seconds and uh, okay, so you do it like this. Or Wrathful Simulacra, then. Wait, what? Okay, well, that kinda worked. Kinda. One, 
So. And, okay, more over there. Grab that, head back, and go down there for the rest. Oh, and a little heart. That's cute. So heart-shaped rock. And, okay, now that's done. I'm wondering, this is also heart-shaped, and there's another heart-shaped formation of blossoms over there. This one will be lower case. This is... Still Southern Mountain, now it's 90%. Just that one area on Mountain. Okay, cool. Come on, come on. That's... There we go, we got it. Nice. Hunt complete. Okay. If we want to really get to the slope. Oh, so that that's the tree. It's not marked on the topography and color, but it is marked topographically. Ah. It's certainly a choice. I wonder why, though. Oh, and... Oh, hello. So trespass in the valley, thundering chastisement notches, intent to not preserve them. It's necessary to disturb the abode's peace. Oh, so I... Okay, I got that before. That's right. Right, damage increased normals. Charge attacks. Okay, cool. There we go, got them all. Oh my goodness, I really miss using Ganyu. So we already got a good amount of what was over this way. That's more than fine. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay. Alright. Hmm. So going on this side, I think, is what's next. Okay. Then we can go down into the valley properly and get all that, and then it would be... Whatever's left on this mountain. Southern mountain. Then on Sunday, I should be able to get the remainder of... Commander of the Spirit Cart and see what that does. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, frankly, that Jade getting recombined was a little anticlimactic, but still cool. But it was entirely just all connected to that quest. I just ignored the other half of the Jade and forgot about it because I thought it was one of those pick up and put down again puzzles. But it wasn't. But it wasn't. Wait, that over on the other... That's down there? Wait, how did I miss that, actually? How did I miss that? Like an utter dunce. Okay. No one of those trees are there, but... Come on, come on. I just wonder if there was some sort of achievement for... You know, the Sangalacra. Maybe. So how do I want to all these. So can I move some of them to a position? Okay, clearly what I need to do is head over here, then one over there, one over there. Okay, cool. Let's get this down here, and then kind of that. One more. One more. Oh, what? Oh, that didn't work all that well, actually. Come on. Did we... Oh, barely unable. That is a crying shame. Hmm. Where can we get that, then? So maybe this is the one that I need to time it so they're all in the same place? Maybe. I could see that, possibly. Come on, come on, and get that, get that, and... Oh, please. Now you've noticed. I don't like that. But how did... Oh, because an enemy showed up and now it's... Oh, you can burn. And utterly burn. And do not freeze me. You would not have permission. Okay. And just like that, we can... Nice. Come on, come on. And just a couple of these should do it. 
There we go, goodbye. Okay. I could try that again without anyone getting in the way. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. Who would I actually want to use plunges against, though? I guess... I don't know. Plunges are strong, but honestly, kind of all too strong. Mm. Please, please. Okay. In that case, what we do is we use it like that, and then... There we go. We have to use them to basically hang around in the air, or get some air time. Not actually dip down to the water, but get close enough to light them and... Okay, now I see. This is a little more complicated than I expected, actually. Respect. But that over there, we got one more simulacrum that I previously ignored. Okay. Droplets fired, exceed the limit. So now there was you down there, you down over there. Maybe I felt like it was close enough to this part that it counted the same. No, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, what I... No, that didn't make a difference. I'm speaking nonsense again. Don't mind me. I just missed it. Okay. Over here. Challenge 13 within 60 seconds. Okay. Oh, nice. And for the center over there and get that. Cool. The aiming is a little. has a bit of declination. That's the thing. That makes things a little annoying. The conscious. And that over there is solidly part of Northern Vale, so it's not my problem or interest one way or another right now. Now you over there are... Oh, okay. Go back, and how many more droplets can we spawn? Well, whatever. Not really my issue. What? Okay. Over there, and we can see... Turn the clouds over there. It's cool to be back in this part of... Oh, hi! Three... Dancing in a few autumn moons, soaring sun in incessant size. The autumn moon. Oh, there was... Wait. Depth I live near water's clear. White stone stands so tall. Room my hat and drink to you. Oh, five blades return to Longshan. Oh, so the Guha found all five lost swords of Guha. Longshan does make me wonder how it may or may not be connected to... Long Shang Funeral Parlor. Given that... So it could be a corruption. Because there is a chance that Hu Tao's secret spear of Long Shang could be... What is... Xing Chao's normal? What's it even called? called... Okay, Gu Hua style. Yeah. That, given that Hu Tao is an offensive pyro pull arm, that she might, her fighting style might be Light Piercer, which is mentioned in connection with the pyro element inside the Guha Hall. It's possible. And it would make some sense, given the connections between Hu Tao and Xing Chao. Because they are friends in lore. As tenuous as that might be. Tenuous as a connection that might be. Not a friendship, I think. So in that case, let's explore a little bit of this shore over here. Go back around, go back into the valley, I think. Good amount of stuff. And we're 91, okay. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Huh. Let's go over this way then, and... Yeah, okay. Try this one more. Oh, right, there were a few Joyun Chilies actually there. Not just inside the bots. I completely forgot. Silly- oh! A damage number two. Poor butterfly. Okay. 
Okay. Come back up to the top and where did that kettle puzzle when I first came in here two weeks ago? Yeah. Okay, come on, come on. Okay. Well, that can wait for later. Oh, this one was yeah, that was quest related. I mean event related. Let's see and oh well that didn't entirely work. Oh my goodness. Well, in that case, let's just scroll a bit and come on. Then gun, you can do the rest. Come on, come on. That did not always break me. Good stuff. Okay, cool. Nice, there we go. And oh, so the chest opens up. I didn't even notice that it wasn't actually normally burned. Okay, never mind. Plunge down, see how the fire spreads. Okay, got that. Okay. Okay, got enough of Okay. himself to death. I do appreciate that the thorns actually do. So they did dendro damage from the star, but I don't recall if they actually applied dendro element. So my hunch is that they didn't. Lord knows, it's been a while. Okay. Hmm. Let's go back. Gotta go back. Hmm. This way. One more time. Okay. Hmm. Maybe this. Yeah, this is close enough to. This counts as southern. Southern mountain to me. Sure. Okay. Down and oh, it's a fountain puzzle. I mean, a lantern puzzle. That's why it shows up like this. And now you're here. You're here, and let's see. Put that down, and I can see just how far away I can actually activate it from. That's the question. Let's see. Like that, and then grab over there. Like that, and we get it. Do we get it? We got it. Okay. So there is a bit of a horizontal limit. To, uh, I mean, a vertical limit to actually activating the lanterns, but didn't really get in my way. Okay. Whoa. Anything over here? It's okay. No notes or anything, so we're good to go. Let's just hit this. Hello. Oh, I miss? Poor turtle. So it's possible to hit the turtle without actually hitting Jade on its back, which that makes sense given that it actually is a separate object. Okay, now I see. Now I see. Hmm. Try this out again. Challenge and 26 geo particles within 93 seconds. What about the bubbles? I'm gonna make. Okay, the bubbles make show up so it's a matter of archery come on come on so how am i gonna gonna yeah. them? oh and you shoot them all and it just sends you in a loop to get all of them oh enjoy my ride okay easy easy street okay oh nice we got on the boat. Cool. That over there, and it seems like they left a few behind, too. Mm. Okay. Turn this out, maybe. It does not seem like anything was really there. Any real note. Down here? No. Oh, oh. Uh, yep. Yeah. It was worth checking because there was a more rock in the waterfall. Cool. Let's go back out. Hmm. What over here? Guess I might get a little bit of this part of the shore, maybe? Eventually. Hmm. Somehow I don't entirely think I'll be doing everything here today. Quite frankly, it's taking me a bit longer than I expected. Okay. It's not necessarily a bad thing, because it means 
be a little bit of stuff for me to go around with Chiori next patch, maybe. Let me pat out the content. Otherwise, I'd have to start scrounging to hit my 30-hour mark. Come on, come on. There's an another... Okay, not illusory. Not illusory. <clears throat> Start the challenge in 10 within 50 seconds. Oh, that? Oh, that's treacherous. Have to go down the sides over here. What is this, Blight Town? Okay. And oh, there we go. Got that and. Oh, nice! Well, luckily it didn't spill too far. Let's just go and. Just a few more trash artifacts and leveling Navi is decent artifacts. Cool. Quit damage. Attack quill next is Selfless Floral Accessory. Okay. That and. Let's more into the circlet. Just in case we actually need to use it for something. One of these days, one of these days I will use Navia again. She will have to rerun eventually. We've got 33 or so before we have to clear out the inventory a bit more. Important mental note made. Okay. Let's get that and oh! Slime cotton saved from that. A lot of interesting things popping out of there. The fact that enemy materials could be found in there, those and the other ones, was pretty interesting, honestly. Let's see, is there anything over? Yeah, this was the place where we got the notes of the guy who went foraging and then died. That's right. Let's go down a little. Let's go to this mountain point. Okay. Oh, it's raining now. Okay. Let's see if there's anything over here to grab. Nope, this is where we got the chilies. Okay. In that case, nothing to do but clear out the few remaining things left in the valley. Okay, I need to take another bathroom break real quick.
back. Get back to it. Okay, so yep, we are going down into the valley. To Yalti Valley. We got a few fungi to fry. Besides that, that should be that should be pretty good. Okay, this is that one of the two not one of those two pots I can actually pour stuff into and get anything out of. That's some oh well we got two things of Chinyo Adepti though. Okay, so these fungi I'm gonna handle with. Oh, butterflies. Okay, fungi spores. Want the normal fungi materials, so I'm not gonna hit them with pyro or anything. Hi. So let's just hit you like this. Hello, hello. Come on, come on. Another. There we go. But okay, out of the way. Dodge your charge. Oh, that didn't even kill. Well, that killed. There we go. Cool. Keep on going. It really, it took me an embarrassing long time to think about the possibility of using Shenhe to buff Ganyo. Because Shenhe doesn't work all that well on a Morgana team. But if you're seriously using Ganyo, you're going to be using her burst. But for overall, it works fine, because you're going to be using charge shots. But in a Morgana team... You don't even really use Ganyu's charge shots in the first place. So I just honestly kind of completely forgot that, yeah, Shenhe does always just buff cryo damage. So silly. But, uh, just check, make sure we didn't miss anything up here along the way, and I don't think we did. Yeah, we didn't miss anything, now that I can tell at least. Let's go back down then, and okay. So else might be in the valley over here. Pretty sure I did get everything of note already. Let's see any investigation points. We'll check inside the caves real quick, but it shouldn't really make a difference. Okay, cool. Come on, come on. Ha. Mm -hmm. Here and also... There's a sweet flower that came back. Not really that notable, but okay. Mm. And anything more over here, maybe? We got horse tails, okay. I know that some of them contained specialties. They, just, they actually fell out, okay. Not this weird jar with the butterflies. Is there anything special about that one, or. Oh, we can- oh, we can't actually fall inside. It's got an invisible bottom to it. Interesting. Over here we got more wheat. Okay, let's look inside again. Hmm. Is there something I missed? Someone did say that there were specialties inside there. Maybe it's something else, like this cave over here? I think maybe. Yeah, I think. There's another cave that doesn't really show up on the map as part of a quest I did. I'm pretty sure that was it. Let's go back into Adeptus' repose real quick. Shouldn't be anything left in here, but we may as well check. Okay. Apparently this music was remixed from Baiju's story quest, cutscene music. Let's see. Ancient notes. Worry. Incomplete senses. Elegant handwriting. Butterflies converge in the jar. Surges anew. New life restored to a withered tree. Okay. West and behold Wing Shu Courtyard. And then... Okay. Well, we already did this quest, but... So I'll read this all already. I do find it interesting that this will teleport us to... The mural over here. But we can't actually restore it, weirdly enough. It's... Certainly something. Time to keep scrolling. Water and salt in the cave are quite nutritious. Too small for this young tree. Planted at whom? Connect to the door open mechanism with the jar blanches planted. Oh, because it was moved over to the other courtyard. 
Said mechanism, damage only time ago. Can it still open and close? Hmm, okay, well, all right. Nice, and you tell me about the chest buried in the flower field. We got that already. Were the objects yours for the taking? Okay. A few ancient texts. One, that memory is one motive main jade, votive rain jade. So is it Linguan who wrote this then? Her? Huh. Which interrupter, what good joy makes her decide against it, takes a hit, isn't here to natter away. Job, person or fish see this, jump for joy otherwise. Or Urbord, maybe? Probably Urbord. Right, right, right. Slimming tea. Wild beast. Okay, talking about Linguan. Tepal energy can never gain weight. Whole affair, smell despite knowing the truth full well. Hmm. Okay, make it useful for mortals. And certain matters, usually wrong, Fujin specialty. Master. Precautions, adeptal butterflies extend greatly. What happened? Guidance find the formula I left behind. Oh, to deal with the plague, probably, I would assume. Well, let's get back up top. And right, our skill is currently disabled. That's right. Hi. Talk about things with you. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, whatever. Just touch the stone slate. Something very important. Wait, wait, so... That case... No, it's... Right, right, right. Okay. Hmm. So that would have been Fusion's notes, and the others would have been... The others. Ancient text, Adeptus's notes. Butler, management of the master's abode. Well, you're back here now. I guess. Put you back in your final location, then. Okay. And quit ourselves of this place. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess actually... No, that was the heart I marked there. Okay. Go back into the other. Winter courtyard, and that should be good. And I can see how much of the mountain I can clear out before my time today comes to a close. Wait, that... wait, wait. What was that? I don't remember that one. Oh, Noctuagus Jade and Chingzins. That's cute. Let's check inside. Nothing here. Where could I find a... Simulacrum to place? Is it that one? No. It would be way too far away then. In that case... Oh, it's just... You. Hi. Back as soon as possible. There we go. If you're reading coming here, let's teach it a lesson for me. Probably gonna show up when I round jar in front a good rat. Right out of hiding. Hit. Oh, a wild boar. Another good hit. Oh, what's gonna show up? Okay, slime. Okay, well. Let's try that again. Didn't even drop anything. And what now? Whopper flower. Oh, hi. Hello. And just go down and hit like that and... Where are you? Nice. Stay out of the way. And narrowly dodge that. Hi. And there we go. Cool. And that unlocked that chest. Cool. Never trust a whopper flower. Okay. Had it coming? Teaching it how to be a proper flower. It's kind of dead now. I don't think what it learned or didn't is all that important at this point. Get another thing from there and not a hit, just an investigation point. So at the investigation point would come back. Hitting it. Those rewards would not come back. Not that I need any leeway specialties anymore, but the only leeway character who I haven't leveled is. No, I have leveled. 
I have every single Uwe character, and I've leveled every single Uwe character. That's right. I have no current need for any Uwe specialties whatsoever. Okay. In that case... Let's keep working. I've already been in here and already gotten everything in here, but... You know... It's good to check. Mm. Let's get a few more of these jades. Nothing else, I can put them in the parametric transformer. Mm. Yeah. I forget. Two more valuable items. Fill up the transformer more. So I'm pretty sure they don't. Digging does nothing. Some of them do indicate dig locations, but most of them don't. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Alright, and you. Can't say anything anymore. Life has ended. Okay. In that case, go around here. Check for a few more things. Hello. Hello. Just. Oh, I didn't need to wait. Did I? I didn't. Okay. Cool. Said that said, I could easily come on. Oh, okay, right. Just other way. Oh, that stopped its charge, but didn't actually kill. And that's surprising me. Hi, and cool down just like that. And come on, come on, please, please. Okay, just like that. And physical damage. How? Oh, it dealt it to the balloon. That's why it was shown. Oh, hello. Forgot about you, actually. Hi, and just that's, do that in the meantime. Hello, hello. And just like that, we can. You're downed. Good. Keep on going. Is the bonus, and oh my goodness. The red shred on top of that, too, is kind of insane. Okay, well. Either way, there's nothing here that we really need. Other than. The satisfaction of going through an area we already went through to make sure that we have everything we need. Already moved and placed those teapots, so yeah. It's all pretty much done. Then I guess some of the teapots do have things inside them that might be worth checking. But still, but still. There, over there, over there. Got did some of this. Let's just, just take into account the curved pathway. I think there was something here, but I think I already got it too. Okay, cool. <clears throat> come on, come on. Spiderweb. Yeah, after this, it's just gonna be the mountain, which I've already done a lot of things on today anyway. Should be some areas that are more or less already cleared out, especially since I already did. Or else everything on the main hub of Shijan. We'll see. There was a chest down there, I did get that. Okay, cool. In that case, come on. Pull that up, and spider's dead too. Cool. And are the hillatrils in here gonna come back, or? I guess not. Fine by me. Inside here, there might have been a chest or a smash stone, but it must have been one I already got. It was a spirit card. Oh! Hajime Mashtenshi, game graphics hub. I am not in a position to really be trying to do any kind of upgrade right now, but now that I know you exist, when I eventually do, you'll be on my list. Thank you for the fall. Okay. Come on, come on. Keep on going. I guess I'll go down here again just to check. But there's that mural over there, and what I had to do was perch on top of this, and I tried putting the simulacra down there again and again, and it didn't work. Turns the adeptal abode. Okay. Keep on going. See what else there might be to find. Yep. 
That over there. Now there's the tea tree. Yep. Oh, and I didn't even notice that it was always surrounded by a bunch of little spirit butterflies. So I was in too much of a hurry to just return back and collect my reward, actually. So there we go. There we go. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Just go up here and yep, nothing is left. We already did. All that, there was a teleport portal, but now there isn't. Okay. So there are a few kettles over here that I can go inside. And I know that one of them was Oh goodness, the glider did not open up fast enough after that. Come on, come on. Go down here, go down here, go inside. Okay. Oh, and this... Is this not water? Okay, it is water. I can submerge myself in it, but it doesn't actually get me wet. That's interesting. What do you got? Just inside here. Okay. There, go inside here. Hello, hello. Come on, come on. Okay. This one is actually empty. So the tea tree's there, the branch. We planted here. And a branch, like it was originally grafted in the pot over there, could be grafted to open up the area in Adeptus' abode. I mean, Adeptus' repose. It's all done. We just go south through the valley pretty quick. Squirrel that out, and yeah, we'll have gotten everything done except the central mountain of Southern Mountain. Okay. Good progress, good progress. I'm a little satisfied with my performance. I don't know if silk flowers and glaze those again. I don't really need those right now. I wonder if anyone will need... Silk flowers again, because it was Xingqiao and Hu Tao, which I guess is another connection between the two of them. Possibly justifying them both being Gu Hua or Hu Tao being Gu Hua when you wouldn't otherwise expect her to be. Okay, come on, come on. Over there, over there, over there. The reason I think Longshan Hall might be connected to Longsheng Funeral Parlor is that the whole tigerfish, tickerfish thing is another example of a foreign language pun kind of deal. Hi, frozen, and now you're dead. Which one do you prefer? Being frozen or being dead? So there was that little other cave in there that we already dealt with. Okay, so in that case, which other way that- oh right, there was that explosive barrel, which I forgot about. Go, there we go, there we go. Do not burn me. Do not burn me. If we can get that, that's good. How much more? How much more? Okay. Maybe if I had put down some icy quills, it would have done that, but it's not as if I was in a crunch for time there. Okay. That ends. Put it a mountain. Cool. Teleport waypoint, so check out the rest of that tiny little cave and we'll be good to go. Okay. Mm -hmm. And okay, that does that is not breakable. Nothing really to search for then. Hi, hello. And try like that. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Keep on going. There are no... Oh, the specialty I was seeing in here was one little glaze lily. Okay. Another frog and... Yep, this... There was a chest here and this was also a place where that one guy was. Okay, cool. This is notes are gone, but for whatever reason, Calamity Qualler is here. Disaster, Oath, Deep Purge, Treasure Damage, Cleanse Retreat once more. But of course, that's literally Shen's weapon, which implies to a certain extent 
A lack of canonicity. To certain weapons being held by the player at all. <sighs> okay. This will go over here then. Hmm. All right. Spit of the mountain. What it's worth. A lot of this should be a relatively strict shot, but still. Okay. Let's see. Legend over there. Okay. Cool. A few more of those beasts. I guess I could go over some plunges, because that would be a multi-target situation. It does excel in single target. Oh my goodness, I missed that. Totally failed there. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Get over there and what? Okay. Come on, come on. There we go, goodbye. Good damage, good stuff. Okay, well, luckily we're right by the statue. We can just go back to the statue and heal at the statue. Okay. sense. Okay, that, that's one of the teacups I can pour. There are two things I can actually get some out of. Unless I already did it and I forgot, which is a more meaningful possibility than I might like to imagine. I might like to acknowledge, acknowledge. Oh, and you... That easy, huh? Okay. Come on. And just like that, we can get over here. Let's actually just grab this then. Oh, hi. Yep. Hi, hi. Oh, okay. And what the way of that then? Hi, okay. And then, actually, let's just and go over there. And now we've gotten our quills and gotten our swirl too. Interesting. Okay, can we crit? There we go. Cool. Chasm Light Fin. <laughs> Not it interesting that it implies, implies a possible connection to the chasm. Also, I wonder if this, unless there was a chest I forgot about. Yeah. Hey. It can't be illusory, I don't think, but I think it might open up a path. So I figure out how to get into that path, that little chamber back there. Hmm. Yep. Okay. Yep. I'll take my time. You take yours. So in that case, we can go down here and some of this, but there's also this little mountain bit over here. I think I'll go over to the side and pursue that. Oh, did not mean to do that. There is right miasma. Did I... Okay, so maybe I need to return a cup before I can pour anything there? Seems like it may be. But what am I going to do over in this pool of water? This is... confounding. Hmm. This water pool. What am I going to do here? Maybe I'll do this time trial challenge and it something happen. Okay, all 58 within 180 seconds. So in that case, maybe they'll put me on the other side of that gate when I'm done. So these can kind of pass, it seems. Pass through. Maybe. So it is leading in that general direction. Okay. Let's see. And... No, I don't think it will. Okay. Two, three, and yeah. It's going to lead me back to the start. Evidence button of this. Gateway being here. What? I have to be on the ground. Okay, I had to be on the ground for that one. Activated others in the air. Maybe I need to have a consistent position relatively. So I need to be either on the ground consistently or in the air consistently. Who knows, really? I don't. 
Last ones are down there, and oh, there's a oh a digging point, which means ah, ancient jade cup, ancient teacup. Seems a lot of the wilderness. Seems to exude a faint adeptal aura. So clearly, I pour that over there, and maybe it'll maybe that will drain this pool. Oh. Put it down, and when it teapot pours, it'll take the water out of that pool. Maybe place. Okay, there we go. It's gonna happen. Let's see. Huh? Oh, taste the tea. It's gonna drain that. Yep. You drain the cup and it drains the pool. That was interesting. It's a very sort of sympathetic magic kind of thing. Oh, wait, what? Huh? Oh, that... I didn't even pay attention to those, but that activates those hydro... onions, maybe? Wait... what? I need to go check that now. What just happened down there? Oh, I suppose that... didn't really check, but... <laughs> Maybe they had a border around them, and that was the only way to activate them. You just had to... Pour that down to activate that part of the puzzle, and then do the final part yourself? Maybe. Who knows? Okay. Hello. Oh, we got that. Cool. Okay. In that case, this is more or less where we wanted to go. This part of the mountain, so well, got that done. Okay. Convenient. Three monuments, one teacup. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's keep on looking. What is around and down here? Well, we already. This, kill those whopper flowers. There's that other simulacrum that I dealt with before. Okay, cool. Guess I'll check old footage to see about that whopper flower. To check and see if those monuments were off limits for my own personal curiosity. No, not like that. Not like that. Use hold it. And we'll charge and plunging by a little bit for 15 seconds. Okay, cool. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Just like that. Like that. That did not entirely work. Okay, crit. There we go. We got it. it fell through the slats. Oh, interesting. Come on, come on. Go down a little, just to make sure we didn't miss anything down this way. Oh, that would be a real joy to climb. Not steep at all. Okay. Come on. Come on, come on. Go up this way. Okay. What am I doing? That clearly isn't really going to be relevant. Go up to the top over here, get that heliotrope camp down, go on this little ridge. It's time for the rest of the mountain, which honestly shouldn't take all that long. There isn't really much in the way of underground to deal with, and a lot of the stuff around Xizhong Wall I already did earlier today. It's all a matter of getting these guys down. Oh, explosive barrel! Nice, how convenient. Goodbye. Said so we can. Can we melt? Oh, I guess so far away that the ore actually disappeared. Weird. Okay. Cool. And oh, very, very small then. So you, you, you. Can we hit you? From behind? Well, whatever. Whatever. And just like that, maybe. Let's see. Oh, uh, please. Just hit and. Oh, uh, I ran straight into the icicle. Don't like that. And plunge. We didn't really need a plunge, did we? No, we didn't. 
And there we go. Got one more left. Doodling around doing their own thing. And okay, this one actually did stay up on top, so I will need to climb on top of this tower to get it. I can snipe you from behind. Oh well, enjoy death. Oh wait, block from behind. That's fishy. This guy. Okay, and oh, more of you showed up. Hi. Okay. Cool. Still like this thing. And okay, cool. Just say, oh my goodness, that's just screw like that. Who are we going to be able to hit like this? Come on, come on, come on. Okay, lots of you actually it seems. And there we go, there we go, there we go. Heal, 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 heal some more. Uh, you and snipe you down from your platform. And one more shot should do it. There we go. That was pretty chaotic. It should have almost got a burst back from that. Almost, almost. Did not quite happen, but we got pleasantly close. Let's grab this precious chest. And then go up top a little. Cool. Come on, come on, come on. Got a couple more of those hill trolls over there. Let's grab them before they. Stop them all. Oh, they're chasing down that boar. That's funny. Let's actually get that boar before they... I had to deprive you of something, you know. My cruel heart isn't satisfied. Where'd the other one... Okay, the other one is just lagging. Lagging behind. Where are you going now? Oh, hi. Get over here. And see if we can not get the headshot. Okay. In that case... Seems we've gone about as far north as we can while staying in Southern Mountain. Do you want to check the area around the waypoint real quickly first, but... Seems we've exhausted one of our possibilities, so to speak. Not much else is necessary at the moment. Okay. Couple of hill trolls over there, but you are not my quarry. Not at the moment. Okay. Go back up top. Well, if we wanted to go up top there, the easiest way would be to teleport. So that's what I'll do. Alright then. Look over on this side. Do we have anything left? No, we don't have anything left. That's fine. In that case... Okay, there's that little area over there. We did that as part of the main quest by Jade Mouth. There's two shrines over there, but that is long gone in the past at this point. Okay, cool. In that case, we will return to from whence we came. Actually, first, there is that... Oh, there's this. Could use that to go up top a little, but eh, eh, eh. That's okay. Don't need that right now. Back around, check this. So we can find maybe. There is that one challenger over there. I just spotted. Might be worth checking out, but oh, another Shionjo beast. Oh, you could could have left it down before, I suppose. Hi, okay, nice. Let's just out of the way there. And okay, and those actually aimed for the decoy. Come on. And one more, maybe? Come on. Good stuff. Actually did that pretty capably. A couple of fouls and one more common chest. That was worth doing. And so this was a place worth going to, but I can't really get to that top part all that easily, so I will return. Mm -hmm. In that case... In that case, did we... Where should we go? Maybe check around this area south of the statue. Could see that being rewarding. But it's... All this part of the mountain. So I hop off, I will need to. Mark off, demarcate, indicate, all that jazz. Mountain Lord, Adeptus. Well, a Xion, a Xion. Okay. 
So in that case, go back down. There should be, yep, one little monument for a trial over here. In that case, is one of these going to be a whopper flower? No, actually. It's just more, and I assume the trial will appear once I've collected a bunch of these particles. There we are, and now it's... Let's see. Oh, all bones with... Oh, and they're, they are all Whopper Flowers. Now I see. It makes sense. So get over into the designated area where I kill you. Okay, well, that's fine. Swirl and melt and... Come on. There we go. There we go. And let's see. A bit more of that. And luckily, can't exactly... Damage me all that well. You can't, you always can't poison break me. That is kind of a big thing. Ashoka. The person who put treasure in the treasure chest, were they also fulfilling a contact? Contract, contract. Contacts? Oh my goodness. I gotta go back to English class. Get up top over there, and there should be a plume over there in the pot. That's certainly something. Okay. There, and another Wrathful Sandalacrum, but place Sweet Flower 3 and give it to the Sandalacrum. Wait. What do you have to say? Slow Slippery, caught him, but don't want to eat him. Sweet, can't catch him, but want to eat him. You trade. So that's their position. Trade fish for flowers, or sweet, yummy, my tummy, slippery, slip, something about really useful here for you. Didn't actually get any fish. Are they going to be in the chest? They're going to be fish in the chest. Doesn't seem like it. So I guess I think that would indicate, at least to me, that there's some sort of pre-recording aspect going on with what the Sagalak were saying. This is what they ask for. They reward some things, but they aren't exactly actually getting anything. It's weird. And, okay. Go back over there, get another plume. I believe there are... How many are there left specifically? So I've gotten, I've gotten 35, so there are 15 left in the entire group of veil because I haven't turned any in yet. Waiting until I get all of them to turn them in, which might actually backfire if... depending on how it works. So wait, okay. Oh wait, do I need to light this on fire? Or... Oh, so it's a cooking pot that isn't burning me. Can I put this out? Let's see. Okay, I can. Yep, I would need to light it, but I can't actually burn myself. That, that's interesting. There isn't a way to come into contact with the pyro underneath. Or the, the lit fire underneath. The pyro fire. Same thing, same thing. Okay, Ching Zin, Ching Zin, Mint. If they ever introduce a character who isn't Zhao or... Shen uses... She used Glaze Lilies, right, but Ganyu and Zhao both used Ching Zins. Okay, it was Shen Ha Zhao and Ganyu who all used Ching Zins. All of them are leveled now. I don't need any more Ching Zins. I guess if I really wanted to make more of that Tianzhu Tianzhu meat recipe, I could use the Ching Zins for that, but frankly, that's putting the cart before the horse. I like that saying a little too much. I blame Dyer, but Wimpy Kid. Hmm. More goats, who I really don't need to kill. Got enough meat to last multiple lifetimes. Let's check around here to make sure I didn't miss anything in the process, and we'll be good. Now you see, if I explore the entirety of the area and only get... and don't get all 50 carp, then I can just go over and it'll locate the remainder for me, but until that happens, I would like to find them all organically without any genetic modifications or pesticides 
so to say. What is that other portion? It's another Shionjo beast. That's what's there. Hi. That over there and plunge down there. We don't really need the plunge, but yet we can withdraw like that. Nice. Is that a headshot? Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Either way, we kind of got a crit, kind of. Okay, there we Physical, physical, okay. A couple of physical arrows did it, nothing dropped. Okay. I think there might have been... Oh, yep, I was here earlier, and I just ignored that thing for later. Did drop a few ores over there, I'm pretty sure, I think. Wait, wait. Okay, Xuan Yun is over here. You did over here for some animo involvement. Wait, wait. Okay, okay. What's over? Oh, well, I'm stupid. So to do that, I would need to go up into the sky over there, and the gust does seem to be gone, but I didn't need that to get up here. Okay. Wait, what is that? No, that's not... It wasn't fish. It was just a nest. Okay. I do need to check down here just to make sure nothing showed up after I already left the first time. Shouldn't be anything, but it's all about thoroughness. Okay, this part over here seems to be cleared out, so it's just this part over by the mountain. Okay. But I do wonder, how much more do I need to get? How much more can I get? Because in about 44 or 45 minutes, I will need to hop off. Get some things scheduled. Okay. In that case... Anything else? Anything else? How much more do I have at the moment? I've got a little over a million, and I'll have even more once I get this through, so that should be... Should be mostly alright for when I do Abyss. We'll see. So I do have enough Stardust that I can afford to just toss a few in for the sake of buying more of her. Upgrading Farzan and Zhao's talents, but... The more I have before then, the better, regardless. Oh, pfft. Stupid me. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Okay. That's buried in the ground. Can't do anything there. I can't move any of those pillars now that they've been placed. We already did this Did this part of the objective. The incense is burning. Actually, that's... Incense was already there. We just got an incense block once we came back, so... Not really all that relevant. Go over here. Plunge down. A couple of things of crystal, and there we go. Lovely. Okay, one, two, three. Ops. Okay, and then... Wait. So clearly, there should be a little bit more on the very top of this mountain. But as to what it is... That's the question that remains. And back up. Statue over there, the rest of the fortress over there, but... I keep on going that way. There are a few more Xianzhu beasts up top, and I think I will use Gaming for that. So if there are multiple, I may as well. Wait, wait. <laughs> There's that carp roll over there, and it's no longer connected to anything. I wonder if it might send me somewhere relevant. At least more convenient. It's okay, it's sending me down this way then. Wait. Wait. Now that's new. It is new. Huh. It's in that case. No, no, no. That is what it did before, and I just have an incredibly bad memory. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Okay. A couple of eggs in there. There was a flower down there, too. My hoarder instincts have been... ...suitably activated. Wait, wait, wait. No, that was... It was mint. It was mint. I really went back for some mint. You didn't see that. Okay. <laughs> alright, alright. Up top of the mountain, get our 36, 36 spirit garb. 
And this way. Okay. Where is it? It's up top and I can't even see it right now. Well, whatever. It will present itself eventually. In that case, let's just grab all this fish and fountain just to be mean and come on, swirl, and we got all of you, which means we can just start plunging and do a bit of extra damage with the help of the iridescent. Come on, come on, come on. Good stuff, good stuff, and Monchai, 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 and here we go. Plunge, plunge, plunge. Good stuff. Got it all. And just a bit more, and. And even Gaman got his burst back. That is a pleasant surprise. Okay. That, oh, and they dropped some exile stuff, a couple of trash artifacts. That is not a place I need to concern myself with anymore. Already went inside that. In that case, let's just go to the top of this mountain and get that other <laughs> spirit card that we have ignored for uh, multiple weeks now. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay. Just went past the sun. Alacra. That's what happened. Go up. Find the thing. Find the miserable thing. Wait for a bit of stamina recharge so I don't just fall off the mountain and die. <laughs> Okay, there we go, there we go. And the rest are... Wait... I don't even see it. How much closer do I need to get? I would assume it's... Oh, maybe if I... That's down up top over there. So it's not something I missed, just... Place I had not yet been. Timber and... It's a sword, right? Inscriptions, pot in hand... Top branches to make swords, melons, fish, and rice cakes, cut and mist, and disciple appeared. Wooden comb, stick sword, part of the laughing saying. Yep, I do find it interesting that. So, this is actually the final sort of guha on this vaguely sword shaped piece of wood. That is very, very wuxia, I will say, but. I don't even remember the name. I read about it somewhere sometime, but. One of the best known and most loved wuxia stories is about a swordsman who eventually becomes so good at unleashing his technique that he can do it eventually do it without using a sword, using something like a branch, and then is eventually able to do it completely barehanded because it becomes an entirely spiritual technique. I think one of these, maybe this one might lead me into that gate over there. We'll see. I'm hoping. Yeah. Do you have any... Okay, actually, they do have attacks. If you attack them from the front, eventually they... <laughs> close enough, they actually fight back. Instead of just running off. Oh, so that one was just... So is that one connected? Or are these just part of the same... Quest, I mean challenge. That's the question. Go, we got that. Challenge complete. Okay, cool. And nope, before you fall off, before you fall off. Oh, okay, so it does seem like there were two separate locations at which one could start the same little quest or same little challenge. You go up over here and there's a spirit carp. Oh, it must be inside whatever that place is if I can't. Yeah, that's gonna suck. Well, eventually I've got to find a way to get in there. It's going to happen one way or another. Yep. But. Hmm. This sort of dead ends. This is confounding. Maybe I have to go in for, I tried going in from one of the waterfalls before and this weird part with all those rocks, but it isn't... Maybe it's something that'll happen when I actually do more Chuzhang stuff, Chuzhang wall stuff, but that looked not good. That looked not good. So you go up and it disappears. That... All right, then. Make like Burger King and have it your way. 
Okay. Let's go back down here along this other tower. Oh, well, one way or another, the situation will work itself out. Foolishness cannot persist forever. I hope. And over there to that one? Sure. Jump out, plunge down, I suppose, and... Okay, I wasn't too close to activate it. That's good. This down here, we can peek into Chijong, but other than that... Not much is really given off. That's... If I go inside, I can find some clue to where else I'm supposed to go. Hmm. This is more than a little inconvenient. Come on, come on. But... No. This just seems to be a part where the wall is patched. Instead of a weak spot, I can exploit. Investigate wheat and potatoes, as opposed to meat and potatoes. Investigate more of that. Okay. Mm. Let's just poke around a little more. There are these mushroom spores. So if I go around the other side, and yep, nothing. Okay, cool. For the portal again, which I guess we can only activate from this side. Oh, it's distance thing, maybe? Or maybe... Oh, I guess we could only do it once. We can always go back to the area some other way, but... We can't even... Interact with it. There's no prompt anymore. Okay, well, alright. Fine. Mm -mm. It's just the rest of Chijang Wall now. Over here to deal with. That's sad. Oh, and we're 100% exploration on this part here, even though we clearly do not actually have everything. So at least one spirit carp, at least. I am going to. Oh, I think someone actually just went into the bathroom, so never mind. Uh, okay. Keep on going. Check out the rest. That's what I may have missed. Oh! Hachibamash Senshi, Lara Garcia 10. How are you doing? I am. What about you? Oh, achievement. I need to check that. Wonders of all the... Oh, all long days in the realm within. Oh, so they're like... Serena teapot teacups. Each teapot is between Shiny Vales, Mountains, and Rivers. Nice. Do you do art? It's curious. Doomed encounter the great Adeptus. Three bound words. Sign them Ling Wangyuan. Mission divine right. Hujin has I too. Shall be divided. We're here with it. Peace to await. Plundering. Courtyard is sealed. Depths his commands. The courtyard. This one or the other? It's going all right. But I will hopefully be having. If you do art stuff, I'll hope we have money relatively soon, but not at the moment. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. Chuang, Heavens May Hear. You have to promote. It's no worry. Carved ancient times ensure our prosperity. Okay. Keep on going. Leave this place. That was another. Oh! In what sense? What do you need? If it's something with it that is within my ability and not against my principles, I would be more than happy to help you. Keep on going, keep on going. Let's see what's over here. Ratch and cabbage. Mm. Come on, come on. So there's stuff up there. Chest up top. So what am I going to find in where? That's the question. Mm. So, okay, that one was just event-related. Red Heron. Frankly, I should have just checked the map. Keep on going, and did I get... No, I didn't get that one yet. And there were also a couple of Shianjo bees. Nice! Okay. In that case, we can... This one down here, maybe? Cool. 
And hit, hit, and the last one should be close enough. Okay, time for our reward for that little puzzle. Cool. And just get that. That was beast, and... Hello, hello. Hi. Okay. Let's just... Oh, my goodness. Will you get closer? Will you get closer? Get closer. Get closer. And swirl. Oh, that didn't actually hit that time. Oh, well, whatever. Come on, come on, come on, and just see how many we can do with like that. And try that out. Another one down. Another one bites the dust. Okay. Hit, hit, hit. Hit, hit. Okay, we got some of these down. Okay, cool. Maybe we can... Oh, goodness. Not down too, maybe? We did get a quill to use on these beasts. There we go. And the exploding flower did it. This and... Hmm. Do you wonder if there will be a reward for all of the teapots? That's the real question. Like those tea kettles. Other than that, there's this part of the mountain over here. I don't think I can get all of that before my time here ends, but yep. we can make good progress and get closer to my eventual goal. There's another real trial over here, too. Okay. So we'll just go get that and... Did I, yeah, I did already do this one. Okay. Alright then. Try this out, start the challenge, and geoparticles within 40 seconds. Hmm. Let me see something. If you need help, I am more than happy to help you. All you need to do is tell me what you need help with. Back and... Hmm. Is there one? Was there a raffle one that I needed to place, or...? This is... a little strange. Don't see the... Oh, it was over this way. Okay. And the chest is going to be over here, then. Cool. Alright. And I have still got... quote-unquote 100%. Though we all know that that isn't precisely true. Hmm. Precisely, at least. Go back over here, check this spot again. Do a bit more investigation, I suppose. Okay, cool. Over and... Oh, what? A few more of these artifacts. Go, there we go. Closer and closer to getting Navia a really capable artifact set. And, well... That's gone. We don't want that. Yeah, she... wonder how it'd be a serpent, but... Right. Serpent? It would... Well, she would have 50% 50, 50 crit rate, and that's really what matters, because that's about the minimum you really want to have something you could maybe call a good kit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Over here, check out, make sure we didn't miss anything of note. This was the one where we had to rearrange all of the pillars. You can still see the stand-ins, but this is the correct location, so we can't move it anymore. Got the incense, and this is just the final location, the final mural. Okay, cool. Hello, hello. Yep, and of course, nothing was left. That's fine. Aside from one document. Chen Yu, Mountains, Wanted, Time, and World. The Heavens, Time, and Space, maybe. Upon Your Beauty and Weep. Heavens, Carmen's Lasting Testament. So who painted these? Who painted them? Maybe, but no. The Master of the Three Adepti died. So I don't think it could be her. I don't think. Very least it would come as a bit of a surprise. Someone's beauty. Mm. And a weep. Maybe it could have been Linguan after everyone left. Maybe. 
But there really just isn't enough information to make a conclusion one way or the other. This was how I originally went down to get to the Swanee. I fought the Swanee every time I needed to without realizing maybe I should get that teleport waypoint and as there were. There's a shortcut that way. Okay. And maybe I'll... Yep, just like that. Cool. That's all I really need, right? Probably. And get all those, and... There was... One more particle? Wait. The last one was... Wait. Where is it? This is... Legitimately strange. Is it? Oh, I just didn't go in the right direction. Okay, there we go. Okay, cool. Thought that might happen, and then it did. Worst nightmare came true. And go over get all this. No, not like that. Not like that. I did not want to do that. Okay, do that. Continue on my track. The more oh and right there was that it's a couple of geo monuments. Who should I put in? I guess I could bring out an Inkwong to play just for that one little set of monuments. Sure. Okay. Oh, this is gonna work then. Cool. Mm -hmm. That case. That case. You in, put you in. Actually, you know what? Navia. Just in case. That said, she wouldn't do all that well against these enemies, but still. Oh, there's an order to these? What order is that? Is it based on the number of flowers or something? Or this is strange. Well, let's put Ningguang in, actually, because it's not time sensitive. We can take our time. And the fancy outfit, so... Let's see, actually. Does she have any... Okay, she has everything except the goblet. That's fine. Huh. In that case... Maybe moose of a beast of these flowers, or... Huh. This is... Strange. Well... Maybe I'll just brute force it. One. That did not work. One. One. One? One. Wait, what? One. That seemed to kind of work. Two. Oh, so it's all of them except the center one. Those that are marked. And then it makes the other one activate by itself? Okay. Cool. So, you know, I... I'm not even going to question it. It worked. I'm not complaining. We can keep you out for a few more seconds just to mine. Sure. Get splinters. Okay. Case. Let's... I do like how they're very slightly different colors. It's a cute little detail. Isogika. Wait, that's gone. That's done. Guess a little more over this side of the mountain, maybe? Get all this and then leave the rest of Chijong Wall for next time. I could see that working out more or less. Said I really do need to take another quick bathroom break.
Okay. 20 more minutes of death or glory. Maybe even both. Let's see, I'm going to... Oh! <sighs> Unplugged my own headphones. Stepped on my own headphone cord. Goofy. Goofy, uh. Okay. Can I hear things again? Okay, I think I can hear things again. Okay, back. Back. Yep, there we go. Cool. In that case, I guess I'll explore this area underneath. Well, south. South. Not underneath. It's south. So we're sitting south with down. I'm becoming spatially incoherent. Spatially illiterate. In that case, is that a... Okay, it's not a mineable object, it is a Mora Rock, it's more exploration. Okay. Okay. Mm. Berries, berries, berries. How much is left? Oh, that... Something was left over there, and that was... Just a mushroom, okay. Me when mushroom spore exceeds a mountain limit. This is my life now. That's what my life has become. It's become, it's become mushroom sport exceeds amount limit. Another body floaty, okay, cool. Let's just charge over there and just swirl that and plunge, 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 and oh goodness, it's just like that and oh my goodness, oh please, can't, can't do this to me, can't do this to me. Come on, come on. There we go and just, there we go, okay, it's done. Freedom. Whew. And if there was a treasure chest there before, well, I don't know where it is now. Probably in my inventory. There probably just wasn't one there to begin with. Well, there was one around here. Around here. And I did. No, it was over. It was one of these places. I think it was down here. But either way, there was a. One of those transport slime balloons that you could just do manually, and I did that manually. Okay. Over. Try this out. Okay, cool. Over this way. Okay. Let's see how much else I can get done in this area with 15, 16 minutes I have remaining. <clears throat> <clears throat> there is a little on a lip over here, kinda. Maybe just everything south of the wall? Sure, I could see that happening. See that working out? Let's just check under this. Okay, I think there was a smash stone that I already got. So many things I've grabbed here and so much time I've spent here. It's really hard to tell. Okay. Another one of... Do you find it funny that the bell sound of the OST is pretty much identical to the bell sound that plays when you actually can grab onto one of the pearls? It's certainly something. Did do one of the miasma things over here. There's probably an achievement for that. There's probably one left at least. Yep, and okay, a couple of treasure hoarders are here now that all that's set and done. Okay, cool. And just, well, we got hit by that. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And, oh, interesting. That very narrowly did not kill at first. Okay. Hmm. Let's keep on going. Going on the side over here and see if there's anything of note. There is one little smashed stone. I suppose that's somewhat notable. Somewhat. Okay. This way. Go down here and nab this. Nice. Okay. Two, three. Cool. Then. What else we got? What else we got? And here we have. Nothing! Okay, cool. Ha. Huh. Get back up top. Go around this little whip. Check around, there's that one little helotrol camp. A little bit south of Yadier. It does seem to be the base camp where they probably have the key. 
mentioned my people over here and therefore hmm, Qi Wall excavation. Hmm. Either way, it does seem like there will be a little bit left to do. Even after Sunday, we'll see. Depends on how fast I get through things, because frankly, I've done a lot in these areas already. And it's a little smaller than it looks, because a lot of this is hedged in by this big red blocked off planes. Hmm. Frankly, I'd at least like to get all of the cover for this version without having to stream over the 30 minute mark past the event conclusion for more than other events and maybe Abyss, but we'll see. It's all about what is and remains meaningfully possible. Let's see. How far up can I? This is pretty good, we can see. These spirit veins, or I would assume they're spirit veins, I think. Up, swirling around the mountain. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay, okay. okay Those look kind of like barricades, but they weren't barricades I can actually break like the others. Alright, that's fine. I'm up top here. Gotten up top here, and we're on the side now. We've got a little bit left. We've got this enemy camp and a time trial challenge, and I think that should cover the rest of the time. Yeah. Let's see. That Aujong over there. Nice. In 32 seconds. That's not crazy. I can do that just by running normally. Okay. And use that to show off the fact that you can jump off. Cool. That's certainly something. Wait, all of those are... Just on the road? Wait. I know that sometimes they have hill trolls like that. Such as in the Chasm and in... Surami that aren't actually interactable, but, but, <clears throat> a little suspicious, frankly, a little sus, as they say, so I'm just gonna, are you hittable? Oh no, oh wow, what's gonna happen over here then? Let's actually get through. Weird. In that case. Oh, it's. I mistook that for a. Hilltop yep. Wanderer, and there is one over there. I just mixed them up. So there's a Swanwind Beast over there that must have killed those Hilltops, and then those Hilltops over there doing their own things. Okay. Well. All right. And of course, you all get. Oh, nasty. All together. Fine, fine, fine. Come on. Come on, crit, crit. Crit already. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. Okay, well, whatever. That one's gone, and that's already... Okay. Yep, fall down, let me hit you. That's the end of it. Cool. Just a few more things to check around here, and I think I'll... Head back to Samaru and close things down, maybe. Huh. Okay. Okay. Is this a little bit around here? Maybe this ledge too? Well, there's a chest that we can get before any of that is relevant either way. Get that. And... Okay. Investigate, get a silver sword, and I can't. That tent, it seems, I can hit that. Yeah. It doesn't show up under a lot of sight. Creates an on hit effect, but doesn't take any damage. 
Very curious. I already did that. We already got that one. Just a carpool remaining there for the sake of easy transportation. That one is, of course, just event related. Don't need to get fooled again, though I probably will. I'm not very intelligent. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's over. Oh, and yep, there's this little land arch leading the tree by Aljong back over, right over Yadier. Okay, well, fine. Can just take this out again, see if there's anything up here, and presume there will not be. Oh, there's... Okay, I thought that might have been one of the notes from the Chinyville Trek photography deal, but it was not, in fact. Okay. Okay, well. That does seem to be all I could really get at the moment. I suppose I could maybe try doing more things over in the wall over here, but it's a lot, and I don't have that much time. So the only thing really left is this northern cliff face and the rest of the wall over here. I think I think I can remember that. I hope. I'll mark that just to be sure. Cool. And just kind of like this. Do it pretty roughly, but should be okay. Should be fine. And yeah, that more or less does it. More or less. And just kind of like this. Put on this way. Cool. So this demarcated area is where I still need to go. Sure. Okay. In that case, I guess I'll go quickly. Put some furnishings into manufacture. Go back to Samaru to chill out and then call it a day. It was really all just exploration, but there was a lot of that. Okay. Well, well, well. Furnishing, go down, see what there is. Got number, but not too many, just I'll make right now. Port Street. What's that behind? After all the rest. Interesting. Bustling Yard, and come see Nyong Wharf. Quite entered Sturdy Stone, something by Sam Bear Wood, Majestic Beauty, which is full requirements. Should not to allow which card to pass through. Effort required to push open the gate, a standard to assess the strength of hired guards. Interesting. Validate mountains beyond the gate. Patience throughout. Mountainous, obvious change into elevations. There are streets and narrow alleys. Dimensions would have to be cramped. Water court areas are too many. So I have the frame to widen the field of view. Enhance the feeling of openness. So a door, tall mountain, open-minded and generous. Getting straight to the summit. We need to the gates. Gathering waves. Corners, connection to two wall sections. Learning waterways in the environment creates abundance. Surging waves, symbols of stability. Fish, symbols of fertility. Some fish, common shapes for walls. Desire for prosperity and calm, not just decorations. Custom complexity, two-story buildings, transverse windows, unique asymmetrical layout. Expansive interior, necessary small storage space or platform expand on the same side as the long window. Residential use and commercial activities. So to be over here for a little shop stall, fame commerce skilled, rents buildings of the wharf, demonstrating where its advantages lie. Cool. There we have it. Back to Samara City real quick to craft one more condensed resin to use tomorrow for a few more materials and a few more talent books for Zhao and Farazan, and we will be concluded. Subete Oata. Okay. Come on, come on. Yeah, I guess I could heal him up a little, but eh, doesn't really matter. Heal him up next time I bring him out on the field. One more, and there we go. That will complete today's battle pass relevant stuff, and there we go. 
let's go over and put our commissions party back in and park our butts in front of the Adventurer's Guild, and that will be it for today. Thank you to everyone for watching, and yeah, Santa Ragon.